live stream starting soon. Um, we're going to get started here in just a couple minutes. Uh, this consists of the same thing, four game block, 
Okay. Uh, skipping for senior. After the first game, we'll move two pair. Full on the third. After second game, then three pair. And after the third game, we move four. Uh, same same thing as the, all the other squats, guys. Uh, scoring. Make sure somebody else records your scores. I'll try that. Good. And then we'll start the finals. After another Rio L, we are going to Rio L for the finals. Uh, open division, we are going to take eight to the uh, finals. For the seniors, we're going to take six of you. And for the ladies, we're going to take the top four into the finals. And the eliminator format, we will bowl two games. And uh, if you do tie, you, you guys are going to move on. That's how we're going to break the tie. Just keep moving on. Uh, we'll get you guys turned on here in just a couple minutes, 10 minutes of practice. Let me let Corey uh, get situated here. I did tell him that uh, we were going to start around here. So we'll just give him a couple minutes here. And we're going to get you guys fired up. Okay, hey, welcome back to the Colorado Open first annual. We're getting ready to fire off the semis and the finals. Semis will consist of four games. Then we're going to have eliminator finals. We're going to take the top eight in the open, the top six in seniors, and top four in the ladies division. So there still are three divisions. So three titles that we're giving away today. The incomparable Lucia is back with us. That's Since me. Isaac is bowling, yeah, actually he's eating, and then he's gonna bowl. <laughs> what did he get? Like some <laughs> smothered tater tots? Uh, it looks like it. Something so. like that. Awesome. So practice is getting ready to begin for the semis. We'll get a roster of our, of our semifinalists here momentarily. It looks like they're starting practice. Absolutely. Again, they had a special pattern that was made for this event. It is. 25.695 mils and 41 feet in length. It's a, what is that? And the ratio is 3.8 to 1. Yep. Like on paper, it looks like it could be difficult, but scores are showing <laughs> different. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Maybe these guys are good. Like, no, I'm joking. There's no baby. They are good. <laughs> Just being facetious. All right. We do have our semifinalists. So, in the open division, we've got Cameron Cole, Tom Steed, Eric Phillips, Kevin Hartman, Isaac Hernandez, Anthony Solano, Brandon Knowles, Brian Ropkin, Mike Mounts, DJ Grine, Steve Gallegos. Look at you go. There you go. Chris Kelso, Nathan Sabato Trujillo. Evan Kurtz, Daryl Stone made the cut. There, uh, Jacob Jackson, Mark Shirless, Corey Ledette, Adam Pertsky, Ron Johnson the third, Brian Montoya, Dante Lundy. That is all your open bowlers. For your senior division, we had Eddie Laura Jr., Kevin Curley, uh, Dwayne Mellinger, Wayne Stellick, John Johnson, Marco Popovich, Tim Tripp. Monty Opperson, Mike Riley, Scott Myers, Kevin Maloney, and Roger Whaler. And then the ladies division, core compliment, Emily Eckhoff, Kelly Zapp, uh, Rachel Ray, Emily Arndt, Julie Lancaster, and Chelsea Tonson. So practice has started. We'll be back momentarily with game one.
have your practice, please. I feel your machines back to first call for me. This is last call for the pots up here at the counter. I have handicap brackets right now, or excuse me, scratch brackets. Right now I'm working on 26 brackets, so if you want to get in brackets, they are games two, three, and four. This is last call for brackets, last call for high game pots for the open, the women's, and the senior division. Okay, looks like we're getting ready to get started with game one of semis. I think Rick is going to join us again really quick while he's watching Mama Bowl down yonder. That way he doesn't get yelled at. Rick has joined us again. What cameras you got here going? Um, so right now we're going to go, looks like two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Looks like we got Emily. Who else is down there? Emily, Eric Phillips. Yes. Thomas Steed. Uh, Isaac Hernandez, Kevin yep. Hartman. Kevin Hartman. You can kind of see one and two. Yes. There's there, Cora there right goes, there. There goes Mama. <laughs> oh, well, first one's off. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we always use the, the old adage and motto that if you're going to open, you open early. Well, you know, the, that first one, even in tournaments local, doesn't matter where. Yes. They, uh, little, you get the heart racing. Yeah. I, I tell juniors all the time, this is my uh, pet peeve, is, I, are you guys nervous? Oh, no, 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 no. I said, yes, you're going to be nervous. Because if you're not nervous, it, then it means nothing to you. So you want to be have some kind of nerves. I agree. Because I tell them, I've been to Nationals 22 years in a row. Really? Every time we go to, anytime you're coming out, all those butterflies happen. There you oh, go. Oh, nice she spin. got it. There you go. Oh, she's just proving a point. Oh, right. yeah, now she's she <laughs> laughing at us. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Then we got Emily on six. So let's see what she does. Not a girl. Uh, okay. Kevin, uh, how do I pronounce his last name? I get it wrong. Uh, that's on you. <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find. I will find <laughs> out before we get done. Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez threw a great yesterday. I qualified with him. Um, he was doing a lot of good things. You know, he's coming off some knee stuff and mm -hmm. shoulder stuff. We could get him some bubble wrap. <laughs> exactly. Kind of like our buddy Nolan Carruthers out there. I don't know if he's <laughs> listening in, but uh, it seems like every other month he's hurting something. <laughs> that is true. When I was uh, given. Isaac a hard time was that he shot 250. I said, I haven't seen 250 in a long time. To shoot 250 is, is different. That is true. That is different. So he explained how he did it. And he six count at the end to get to 250. I said, oh, that's, that's a you problem at that <laughs> that's point. That's a you problem. And you could see like Eric there on lane three, you know, getting the three off the right. So we, I don't know if you guys talked about the pattern. You can only throw it so far right. Yes. And you can only throw it so far left. <laughs> so it was just hard enough. And that's exactly, again, like we talked earlier, that's what you want. You want it to be strike fest out here, but you want it to be playable. Yeah, and I thought it was fair for all. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like anybody particularly was shut out besides me. <laughs> so, and that's a me problem. <laughs> you made a pattern that you could not get. That, that, that the best hey, I get to is the cut, the yeah, one below the cut every time. Yeah, one below. <laughs> I like that alternate position. <laughs> there you go. I, I, uh, that used to suck at, in the um, there goes region. Mizek off. Did she get it? No, nope. level 10. In the regional level or high level terms when you were the alternate, you had to come show up to the center and yeah. wait and wait and wait and wait. Well, Corey, the leader of the oh. last squad, mm -hmm. I, you know, we made the announcement, <laughs> said you got to, we'll probably start somewhere around noon. Well, he took it literally. <laughs> I think he walked back in here at 11.50. <laughs> there, there you and go. We were ready to roll. And <laughs> But he's here, and he bowled well the last squad, so nice. good luck to him. And there's a better shot by Eric. Yes. <laughs> good, but again, maybe a little nerves early. I, you know, it, it. I think so. Well, absolutely. And we're human beings, and we're not perfect. And absolutely. I think even if you looked at Kelso, who's probably the most experienced in the field at a high level, I'm sure he, if 
you catch him in a moment, he's going to tell you, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that TV over. show, you know, our buddy D. Ron down there in Albuquerque, oh, yes. you just won the Masters. Did you see his first frame? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, that, this is a real thing. This being <laughs> exactly. on TV exactly. for a shot. <laughs> like you said about Nationals, I, yeah, I mean, that heart is beating so fast, that first couple frames. But Exactly. You know, it doesn't matter how many years you're bowling. Oh, correct. You know, and these guys will get going. Give them a couple shots here. And, oh, yeah. Um, they're going to they're gonna get going. I expect... Uh, you know, you always have that last game where somebody shoots big or maybe <laughs> somebody squeezes a little, so. Exactly. We just wanted to be close. Yeah. Give yourself a chance. And again, we're going to take the top eight in the open division. Top eight. Top six in the women's, or sorry, the senior division. Senior. And then top four in the women's division. Yes. An eliminator format, yes. so uh, everybody will bowl at two games, total pins, and we'll cut 50%. Gotcha. Uh, all ties just keep moving on. So awesome. If there is a tie, they'll just they'll just move on to the next round. Awesome. There you go. Eight four two out. Yes. And six three. Six uh, six four. Four six so four. We're, gonna, we're just going okay. six four because that's the only way to okay. get it to that fifty yes. percent. next. So you know what? It's a better cut than one and five. Yes. That's all. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think anybody's going to complain that we're going to take more. <laughs> Have you met bowlers? Well, Rob. <laughs> I will no, plead joking, the that's fifth that's on that joke. one. <laughs> All right, Cora, with yeah. uh, she started with a spare, or six spare and then a pair of nines. Yes, ten awesome. pin, ten pin. So awesome. She's hitting the pocket. Yep. Nice, nice. This is awesome. Again, this is a awesome, awesome tournament. I like everything about it. Well, we appreciate you guys showing up and doing your live stream as always. Like we were talking earlier, you allow the girlfriends, the moms, the dads, the grandparents, they, they get to watch. So True. tune in. If We'll try to get your favorite bowler. If you guys want us to get us scoring updates, hey, we'll do our best. Absolutely. But this is such a – it's fast. With only three bowlers on a pair, it is, yes. it's tough to keep up with the scoring pace, but we'll do our best. Yes. And Ham from Oregon, thank you for tuning in. And J2. Got to meet Deron. Was an awesome. He's an awesome guy. Absolutely, right. no doubts about it. I've never heard anybody say that they did not like the guy. You know, we met him about five years ago. Remember what was it for the? Uh, was it for the Megan or the Masters? The Megan, and then he started bowling the Masters, and you were 100 percent right. He is <laughs> yeah. humble. Yes. To the extreme, he will help anybody. Yes. Your bowling needs more Deron. Yes. Yes. I think at the Masters when he ended up winning. Um, that was two years ago because Brandon won this year. So Correct. two years ago at Arapahoe, he'd won. And so we were streaming it, got done, and we sat and talked probably for a good hour and a half. And just shooting, talking about bowling, yeah. different things, whatever. Yep. And he's just the most uh, down-to-earth guy you will meet in bowling for sure. Even in despair. It's just the right way to describe him. Yeah. He will talk to anybody. He, he's not above it. And... When he had the, when he was bowling the Masters and he was making going through the rounds and getting by matches and everything, everybody's rooting for him because they know who, who, who he is oh. and how great he is. And if you didn't tune in, you missed. You can archive it. <laughs> yes. He bowled against Tackett, mm -hmm. and I think he started with 23 out of the first 24. Exactly. He, uh, he Tackett <laughs> just won the world championships, <laughs> exactly. right? Absolutely. And, and he took him out, and and but he, he just. Just a nice guy, easy to root for. And yes. the thing is, is he roots for you. Yes. So. And he knows his game to a T, and he understands tournaments as well, meaning that when he bowled the Masters, the, the three times I watched him bowl the Masters, and I was talking to one of the juniors that I had with me at the time, and he ended up bowling the Masters at D-Ron 1. And, and he's uh, plotting along, and I said, this dude, what's going to be the most impressive thing about D-Ron that you'll notice is he very rarely misses spares. That dude is going to make as many spares as possible because you never know. Well, you know, the funny thing was, I don't know if you listened to his interview after he won, and the scoring pace of the Masters, early you could get it. Late, it was hard. So, you know, TV, the lights, everything, <laughs> all the practice, you know, the lanes are more towards the burn side of things. And, um, you know, he made the comment. He said, uh, you know, there is such a thing as defense and bowling. It was 100%. He, he, he is the one of the better bowlers. Like Dwayne Mellinger is really good at this, who, who made the cut here. And, and Mark Shirless, they will hit the pocket, and they will spare you, yep. and they will wait for you to make a mistake. Yep. 
Yep. And, you know, he he did that perfectly. I, I, I don't remember the match against uh, Dombrowski, but, I mean, he, I think Dombrowski opened late. Yes, I think and, that was And Deron just kept hitting the pocket. Yeah. And, and, and moving on, moving on, moving on. He's fill the frame, fill the frame, fill the frame. Yeah, he's got that um, old school mentality. Because... And not knocking any younger players, but their goal, the new mindset is strike, 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 strike. I'm going to put up I'm an eight-bagger. Eight bagger. Absolutely. <laughs> um, whereas he knows, okay, when they get tough, I'm just going to make every spare. And I don't need to be the leader. No. I just need to make the cut, and then now you're going to have to deal with me. Hey, a couple doubles or a turkey in a clean game. You're, Does you're, wonders. You're, you're going to win more than you lose. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And you can see on the pattern uh, right now with what you're watching, like Kevin – um, and Isaac here, you know, I really felt like just bowling on this personally, if, if you put the side rotation on it, boy, the ball could go sideways down the lane. Mm -hmm. You didn't know where it wanted to go on this pattern. <laughs> um, at least I never did. And so the people that keep, when you're watching this today, the guys and the gals that are keeping their hand right behind it, I think they're going to have the, the, the most success. Uh, you know, targets keeping in front of you and that sort of thing. So I'm looking around. What we got Dwayne right now? He's doing the, the Dwayne D. Ron thing. <laughs> got a couple strikes and spare. He's clean through five. Yes. And that's what he's gonna do. Um, I don't. I can't see Chris down there. Yeah, he's way down yonder, and 13, I don't think 14. we can catch him even if we go to this one. So up top here, who we got here? So we got Chelsea, or no, I'm sorry, we got who's over here? Chelsea's on this pair. Yeah, there I did she see is, Chelsea. 23. Yep. Kevin, Kevin's been born great. Yes. Jeez, Kevin <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. And then Ron Johnson, you know, yep. what? Did he, did he have a knee surgery or what did? I think we explored this last time, and I can't remember if it was a knee or a hip. One of the two. Okay. Well, he's he. Watch how he sets the ball down. Kids at home, learn that. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you there just you don't go. you just don't hear it hit the lane. He's clean. Trip four never hurt anybody either. I love him. <laughs> I needed more of him. Who else we got here? Well, there's the well Corey Ledette. So he, <laughs> where's he from? I'm not sure. You're supposed to know these things. Huh? I don't know. It's Russell. Where's he? At? <laughs> exactly. But he so. led the last squad. He bowled really well. There's Maloney. And, uh, hey, I'd be remiss not to mention your great accomplishments yourself. You shot and put up a monster number oh, in this building. Geez, 875. Well. That's insane. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> they, I was tripping some fours. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. People ask me, what did you do different? Nothing. <laughs> I just struck. And hey, nothing. So what would you say your biggest accomplishment in bowling has been? Well, it's bittersweet because okay. it was the 799 at Nationals because I finished second. And the guy that beat me beat me the next squad. <laughs> yes. What, 802, 803? <laughs> yes. It was the PBA Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I needed one more hit somewhere, obviously. But 790, that, that's probably my biggest accomplishment personally like throwing the bowl ball. Okay. I had my 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> 799 <laughs> Nationals is gigantic. Second place is no slouch. Um, there's not I bet you in the state of Colorado how many people are going to say they finished second in Nationals. Yeah. No I mean we got <laughs> so. Eagle Ed up, up, yes. up there. Uh, may he rest in peace there. We lost him a couple years back but he, uh, he I think I don't remember what which one he won, but he won an eagle. Yeah, I think he, I've, uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember, and I don't want to give the wrong information. Dwayne and them have had success. Yes. I know that they've got watches, and you usually get a watch if you're top, top three. Top three, yeah, I think so. So he's, I think him and Jason finished either second or third in doubles a few years back. Okay. Jason Duran, so. Um, there's been some bowlers here locally that have done some things. Obviously. Oh, absolutely. Kelso on the regional scene having success. Yes. Made TV shows the last couple of years. He is killing it lately. And then you have, I mean, Diaz, he's got titles. Diaz, what did he win just recent? Um, yeah, you always put me on the spot with I'm, these things. Well, you're supposed to know. <laughs> I know. You work with the gentleman. I, I do. <laughs> he's doing a, doing a bronze teaching class right now out there in Vegas. Yes. See, I do know that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But he just, well, he just won the Zach's tournament at the State Farm. Yes. Took out Keith Guerrero and took Keith. out a bunch of youngins. He yeah, was happy I mean, about that. Keith and um, uh, who was the other gentleman? Uh, Chase, 
Oh, they do? They do. Yes. You know, they made it all the way, long way in the match play. Long way in the match play at the Masters. Yes, so. yes I've seen Chase this weekend. He was watching uh, his, his wife bowl at uh, the women's uh, state. Yep. And so he was, he's still on cloud nine. <laughs> he should be. Yeah, bowled extremely well. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Be. That was a tough pattern. And, and you can't. The hard part about bowling is you can't see how hard it is. No. <laughs> so when I tell you that this pattern, I know you're, we're seeing some striking going on. <laughs> it, It's hard. You, you cannot miss left, right in the front, and you cannot put the wrong rotation on the bowling ball. Um, and the Masters, what nope. was hard. Speaking of missing left, right there, it was to the right. It is. It, it, it's <laughs> legit. And, you know, that Masters tournament for Keith and them, for Keith and Chase, it did. It literally, and like d -Ron, the building was split in two two centers basically okay right? so you you know i don't know if people have been to south point where you have 30 lanes on the left side and 30 on the right um they were different surfaces okay so it it was like bowling two different tournaments <laughs> in one and unfortunately you got to experience that first hand and it's all it, you know it's so they had their own characteristics so it, it really puts the mental side of bowling into the play like you need to be you need to be johnny on the spot and you just got back. What, would you have done anything differently bowling the Masters in hindsight? Or just, hey, I did what I wanted to do, and it just didn't work out? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. The only, the only thing I think I could have done differently, per se, was not been stubborn and moved left because I was bowling with those guys. Okay. Because I hit the pocket quite a bit. I left a lot of nine counts. <laughs> All kinds of different, you know, four, sevens, tens. But... You're watching your ball go down the lane. You're like, I think I should move left, but then you don't. You know, you second guess, going, "Well, can I throw it better?" <laughs> exactly. Out there with the rev rate, it's like bowling with five Chris Kelsos. And so sometimes your moves here locally might be one and one, say two and one. Out there, it's legitimately you got to move a dot to the left. <laughs> there you go. And that, that's that's tough. I mean, I didn't. I don't know. I maybe that's the only thing I'd have done different. But okay. I, I I was proud of my effort. I. You know, and that's what a lot of people. I, I hope a lot of people understand when reverie is a massive factor out there. Because two things: when you start playing with those big boys, they can hit a target consistently like no one's business, and they're going with a high level of rev rate, so it makes the lanes transition bigger and faster. Absolutely, and, and, and it's not like another thing. When you're bowling at home, everybody's going to play everywhere. Yes. <laughs> out there, they don't do that. Exactly. So it, it, the, the burn-up spots, they happen so much faster. Um, somebody asked, well, will you guys be streaming? Um, the Senior Masters next weekend. The Colorado Springs Senior Masters. We will not. That is something on the agenda. Um, so hopefully we'll do that next year. This year we just could not get it to match up. What's your next event? Uh, next weekend, what do we have? We have ABT next weekend, actually. We have ABT next weekend. Um, we have a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so we so we got ABTs. We got highly favorites in the springs. Uh, we got a couple Roccos. So we got a lot of local or a lot of um, tournaments coming up for okay. sure. Good. Um, and, and where can what's the website they can check that out? So you can go to Neo Prism Media, okay, and then hit that live streaming link, and it'll take you to the live streams that we have available. Yep. Um, as well as past ones, so on and so forth. So we got it all there. Okay. Um, we also obviously have a Facebook page and stuff of that keeps everybody updated on things we're doing and so on and so forth. Let's see what mom ends up here. No, 184, one open. No yep. double, so which we're off. We're off and running. Yes. And what is the moves? So today we're, we're going to do, uh, I th it's either 2 3 4 skipping, okay. or it's 4 3 2. It's one that I don't, <laughs> I just don't remember. The, I don't remember where the 4 is. Gotcha. Like, is it the end or the beginning? But uh, Okay. We'll find out relatively we, quickly. We, we here. move them that way for two reasons. Is A, you don't follow the same pair. Okay. And then B, you cover the whole house. Nice. So, um,. You know, there's no discrepancy where, where well, one and two, they only got to, like, say, 17. And I've seen that happen in tournaments. And I don't think directors mean to do that. Right. It, it, maybe an oversight or something. But it's not a purpose. We, we tried to make sure that these guys are going to cover the whole house. 
because I don't care what bowling alley it is. I've bowled in a ton of them. <laughs> Centers, side to side, have different characteristics. Yes. And that human made it, and we're not perfect. You got it. <laughs> There's no doubts about it. And that's the advantage of you being a bowler throughout these for a while, because we won't say how old you are. Um, well, that's fine. <laughs> and that's fine. So when you're instructing a tournament, you know all the nuances of, okay, this is what I like, don't like, and this is where I want to make sure that everything is as fair as possible. So when you're, especially when the moves, you're not following the same people, some people don't get the gist of, oh, what, what, what difference does it make if you're following the same people? Actually, it does make a difference. It's a huge difference. It <laughs> could be either a huge advantage. Yes, or a oh, horrible disadvantage. A hor I mean, it, 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 and it, bowlers are only thinking about the negativity, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you think I wouldn't want to follow Dwayne Mellinger and say, you know, th those groups because they're going to play the lanes the right way, and I I'd love to follow them all day. <laughs> Absolutely. But if you get to follow, and let's say, for example, we are just talking about, what if you had to follow Chris all day, <laughs> and your rev rate was in the threes where most bowlers are? Do you think that would help you or hurt you? Yeah, well, especially if you can't pick it up quick enough. Right. You're in, you're in trouble immediately. So, I just, I just think it keeps smart. it fair, if very, that very makes smart. sense, you know, just... I like it. It's a very smart idea. And then same thing is uh, following, if you get, because there is a difference when you're following, um, if there was a group of females on your pair versus a group of, of Chris Keltos. Correct. And not knocking the females, but their rubber is never going to be that high. It's different. And it's, yeah, they played it, and they played lanes different. Transition's so going to be different. Your hole's going to be in a different place it, it, than where it was. Amen. Amen. So. And it's a real thing. And in and, 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 and semis, and I don't know how I can't speak for all the bowlers, but usually in a four-game block, you've got yourself into a sprinter's mode. <laughs> yes. You know, you know that each shot, the importance of it, because if it's one bad game, you know, people might feel like, oh, gosh, I'm, I'm behind the eight ball. I got to get going. I got to get going. And so it is important. You got to be. You know, that's one of the things I noticed out there. I would have either my dad or I, I had an entourage there, so I was able to tell him, hey, about the eighth frame, go to my next pair. Absolutely. See where, see where these guys are throwing the ball, make sure that nobody's doing anything silly, like maybe throwing urethane at the fifth arrow. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, you, you know, we were able to watch him. What do we got, Lucian? Oh, we're going to have a 290. 290 or, Kelly. 290 or 300. 280, so 290. Yeah, she's 290. And she bowled amazing yesterday. Yep, and she, here's the ball coming into your lane. Yep, 290 for it. Kelly. 290. Nice. I think it might be safe to say she's going to be your leader for the ladies division after uh, one, yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> 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 Go out on a limb and say that is probably the case. <laughs> no doubts about uh, it. She bowled. <laughs> that was awesome. Bowled, bowled well? Bowled yes, well. no Been, doubts about it. I don't know where she come from. <laughs> Mr. Llewellyn's leaving. He is. We'll see him Came next week in Nebraska. Yeah. Vegas. Well, good, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Drive safe. Drive safe <laughs> home. Right. Good seeing you, dude. All right. Hey, you better get a sticker for that water bottle. Yeah, with, here we got one somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. And again, you know, I want to thank all the sponsors that we have for this. Uh, Rob here with Neo Prism. Always helps me out, and I know I made the comments. I'm calling this guy constantly. <laughs> no, no, no. Just picking his brain and whatnot, but he helps us out. He does a lot for me personally. So uh, <laughs> Brett Cooper with Storm, we were able to raise some money for this event. So that's why we were able to guarantee the the first place money. Mm -hmm. um, what, the open division's 1000 Seniors going to get, the winner's going to get 750 Awesome. And then the women, they'll get 500 for the winner. Can't beat it. No, and then... Uh, you know, holiday, just like a lot of your independents, they appreciate bowling, and they gave us their center for the weekend, and can't thank them enough, Derek, Cindy, and crew. Yes. So. The staple of the bowling community for years, um, from Derek, Cindy, prior to them, you had the Allens, right? Or prior. Mm -hmm. And who job prior to them? I don't remember because I was still at Grandpa Center. So, I like, I, I, you know, I moved. I, I met Dave and, and Becky when. Um, so they had it for a while. Well, I'm they were. Curious. I actually started with them at Lakewood. Okay. Before they came over here. Um, and so when they, they came over here, and forgive me, I don't remember the year. But, you know, so, <laughs> um, but Derek has taken over and Cindy and that. You yeah, know, they, they just, passed they've, the torch. They've, 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 they've continued it and they, 
they care about bowling this aspect of it. Yep. Their their main priority is to do tournaments of this. I mean, is there? What do they have? Like only two weekends open, even scheduled for next <laughs> year now. I mean, That's awesome. You've been here for a no tap. I have not heard. Six stories <laughs> exactly I heard the stories about it but it's great and, yeah. and that's the amazing thing is that the the Allens did a phenomenal job with the city and they were gracious enough and, and smart enough to pass it on to somebody who kept the legacy intact and kept what it meant intact because easily somebody could have bought it and said ah, we're gonna become open play now well and, and, and it, that's what's happening in our sport yes and you know and, I, and it's hard because they're businesses Mm -hmm. And I and I hear the grumblings and things like that about Bolero, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, I know people's rent's gone up. You think <laughs> their building prices have stayed the same? Yeah. You know, I, I mean, everything's just gone up, and so that's the business model they've chosen. And so we appreciate more of the holidays, Zach, or you know, Zach up there at Highland Park and the Dynasty leg Legacy continuing there. Absolutely. Zach gives back to the bowling community. Arapaho, you know, yes. Billy and them, they do the ABCs. They. I think they got senior, yes. senior state right now or yep. something, right? So. Absolutely. And then you have Sweetheart with Shannon and them, like we mentioned Shannon earlier, who just, right. if there's anything that she can bowl, she's going to bowl it, which, again, is is insane as a proprietor. Because usually when you become a proprietor, you got a lot on your plate. So you're doing this, that, whatever, you're all over the place. She still makes time to go ahead and support other yeah. centers because they support her. 100%. So, and that's that's the awesome thing about Sweetheart is they are they are they are in it for the long haul too. Yeah, uh, and Derek, I mean, how what? I, I don't want to throw out a dollar figure, but he put in new <laughs> lanes, new yes. scoring system. I stuff don't come to you. I mean, it, so he's giving back. Yes. And I, for one, appreciate them. Obviously, this is where my heart lies. <laughs> <coughs> but to Zach, Shannon, Arapaho, you know, hey guys, we 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 appreciate the support for bowling. Absolutely. You know, uh, that you're, you don't have Cosmic going and things like <laughs> that, that we're, there's always a home for us. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, tonight after this event, to give you an example, I think Derek's oiling something like 20 lanes to let guys come out, practice for uh, nationals. Really? So, I mean, it, you, <laughs> you tell me where else, you know, wh wh who, you know, I know Zach does the same thing up there in Grayling. Yeah. I'm sure Shannon did the same thing. I mean, you give back. Yep. He comes back to you in tenfold. It is the nature of how we should be as human beings. We have Mr. Lundy. Mr. Lundy. Five. Oh, nice shot there. Come a long way, that young man. Yes. Speaking of coming a long way, look at Brian Montoya. Brian, yeah. <laughs> I mean, loves to bowl. Bowls everything. Yes, he does. Bowls everything. Works at his craft pretty hard. Okay. And catches a break here and there. Got me yeah. up. <laughs> and there's Ron. Lane three. Who's uh who's on four here? I'm uh, I can't see who that is. I got Maloney in my way. We'll That's try to and we'll try to get scores, guys, for you. It's um, gonna be fast. It, it it is. It is. So bear with us. If you guys want something, let us know. Absolutely. But let us know. Ooh. <laughs> oh, begging, begging yes. now. <laughs> <laughs> Maloney wanted that one. <laughs> he did. I don't blame him. I want those two, Kevin. <laughs> I know he can't hear me, but those are the ones we want. Yes. Maloney is awesome. Another good guy. Very good guy. Oh. And he, he stopped bowling for a minute, right? I think he got hurt. Did he get hurt? Well, did, truth to it, somebody said he was a rugby player. Really? I don't know. I'm asking you. We're going to find out. Uh, I'm going to. Lucia, I need a piece of paper. I got a million <laughs> questions for Rob. He has no answer for <laughs> We're going to find out these things. And there's a friend of ours, Roger, uh, from Jersey. Moved out here a few years ago. Um, works for the airline. He's uh, boisterous. He can. Uh, <laughs> he's got some Jersey tendencies. Gets a little fired up. <laughs> whether it's misleaded or not, but he loves bowling. I think he pulls up at your guys' center on that Thursday night league. Does he? Yeah, yeah, I think Cold so. Creek. You're right. Subs. I think you're right. Yep. A lot of these guys are all over the place. That's, that is one of the cool things about this area is we're spread out but together. So you can get to all these centers relatively easily within 20, 30, 40 minutes. 
Um, it's not like a four-hour well, drive. As long as I'm not the one running a tournament, then it snows. <laughs> At least it's gone today. That is true. And we were talking about it. it was snowing yesterday and it's 60 today. Right. Well, you you remember the, was the Megan like four years ago? Yes. With the two-footer? Yes. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was that was that was very interesting. That was. Well, remember we left our house and it wasn't snowing. No. And. Again, smart that you guys made a decision, said, okay, we're going go to we're gonna bowl the semis tonight. Tonight. I remember that. It was super smart. Best move ever. That way only the minimal uh, bowler had to, had come, to come in back here to, the next day. And, and the thank, next day was just as yeah, bad. Thank God. It was, it was a mess. It was a mess. But uh, I don't know, Lucia, did they give any scores yet? No scores yet? She's too busy over here eating fruit snacks. I don't blame her. I'm jealous. <laughs> What we need to find out is if Kevin Maloney has played rugby. Yeah. I Well, I heard a rumor. There's a rumor floating around. I heard a rumor. He's straight ahead. <laughs> I heard a rumor. <laughs> but Lucia doesn't care. She's going to go find out. She's going to get us the. Yes. Yeah. For 25 See, years he played rugby. He played wow. rugby. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now everybody's talking to him about right? rugby. <laughs> it, that's what I thought. I, I thought I heard that, that he played rugby. So we know who not to make mad. No. Okay. Little miscellaneous facts and, about people. Yeah, you know, and, and <laughs> you want to make friends. So just, <laughs> that's the guy you want to talk to. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Oh, Roger. Oh, he almost got there. Oh, no. Seven, okay, 7 10 fell. Mr. Cooper is watching. We appreciate oh, everything. Brett, thanks for uh, your support for us here at Leave Your Mark locally. We appreciate you. you know, I'll tell you a funny story about Mr. Cooper. Oh, now, me and Mr. Cooper boy, are. Here we go. <laughs> so we had our center, right, and we had a regional. And I'd never met Brett before in my life, obviously. And um, he comes in, shoots 300. I'm like, yes, look at this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, but then got to talk to him, and we've been oh, friends ever since. I can call him, and at any time, he'll pick up the phone and answer questions about nothing half the time. They're working on scores. So we'll get some scores coming pretty soon, but Brett is an he awesome guy. He just got guy. a promotion. He did. He, he did. I give him a hard time, but he, he deserves it. Well-deserving. He just got a promotion. doesn't have to travel. Uh the shops anymore he's going to help uh set up new new partnerships within Boland. so awesome he said he's looking forward to the challenge and we wish him well yes and it was it was just hilarious because with his first three or with that 300 so when we had to center i prided myself on because i was kind of young and dumb and i was like hey i'm putting out a house shot that's gonna be harder and well, I don't want to see a bunch of 300s, yada, yada, right? And then this guy comes in on a PBA pattern, she's 300. I said, okay, I, that's, that's a good one. So it was it was just hilarious. Well, and he's, uh, you know, on a person, he's from here. Yes. Moved to Texas. Yes. Does a lot with uh, Dell and Garland. Yes. Hank and all that, of them. That community down there in Texas, and he's done well. And, oh, know. and it's another, uh, I mean, Tyler, look what he's done. Tyler's going to bowl nationals with us. Is he? We had to pull him out of retirement. I was lost people. <laughs> Tyler Jensen is another guy who is He's regional, very successful. Regional Hall of Famer. Yes. Just got promoted, unfortunately, because of the storm. We lost Bill yes. Christman. Um, but he was promoted prior mm -hmm. to vice president. And then now I think he's uh, president because yes. of the unfortunate passing. But um, so I got to hang out with Tyler a couple times. And prior, I, you know, I knew Tyler. Tyler was the competitive <laughs> guy to me. You know, we were bowling, and he was the young gun. And so he, him and I, you know, we're the age gap, whatever. But <laughs> the last few times I got to hang out with him, I've, uh, I've enjoyed him. Good. He is one of the, he's a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. He will make you laugh. When are you guys bowling nationals? We go uh, the first weekend of May. So here real soon. Yes. Couple right weeks. around the corner. A couple weeks. So you're, I take it you'll be in a practice session a little later after this gets done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. If Mama's ready I had to go a, home. I, I had a couple practice sessions yesterday, so we'll see how the. <laughs> we'll see how they feel mentally. <laughs> there, there you go. Absolutely. 
<laughs> that is hilarious. Dante. Dante. Wow. Been, been bowling good. They are making five to six look super easy. Ain't nobody making a spare over there. <laughs> well, you know, there's a few nine ounces. <laughs> Got a six three. <laughs> oh. It's close. Yes. I think Ron's throwing your thing, though. Is he? I, I, I think. Is that a purple? Uh, I gotta see it come back up. I don't know. He but see, I don't want to speak too soon. He, I don't <laughs> know if he's storm sponsored or global. I don't know, but it's. What is he throwing? Uh, come on. What's coming out of that ball return? It's dark, whatever it is. I don't know. Lucia, I got another one for you. <laughs> we need to know what Ron's throwing. So the guy I'm throwing need to figure out what ball he's throwing. <laughs> We're sending her on missions. There goes Brian. That was a good shot. No. no first strike ball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not throwing that down. No, away. that might be an X. You know what? I think that's an RSTX. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's making a ball change. Ooh. Never mind. We're doing it's going it. to a ball change. We were doing it. <laughs> there you go. Honey <laughs> badger yeah. urethane. Honey, classic. <laughs> honey badger urethane. I love it. I love it. We couldn't figure it out. I'm up here going, what? What is he throwing? But yeah, then that just shows you like this pattern. You're. You know, we were talking about it earlier. You got to control the back. Mm -hmm. um, I think where I got in trouble, and I think some guys are going to get in trouble here today. We'll see. Um, if you're trying to play the back half of the lane, you're probably not going to enjoy your score at the end of the day. <laughs> but if you're controlling that front and you're controlling the back, the scores are there to be had. Okay. Makes sense. So, like, watch Brian here. The ball's not changing direction hard at the end of the pattern. He's just letting it kind of glide in, keeping his hand up the back. There you go. And just not a lot of change left to right. I think that was the key to this thing this weekend. Um, <laughs> oh, he's not happy. <laughs> Got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, the, his claim to fame as he went to Kansas with us. Okay. Shot, what did he shoot? 8.13? 8.13. And had the nerve to say, I shot 8.13 here in Kansas before I get one here at Holiday. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. He, he, he whacked it good out there. He even had an open and shot 8.13. He even had an open. <laughs> so, he, he whacked it very well. So, Brian Cabal. Oh, yeah. He keeps his head about him. He's tough. Yes. When he was younger, I... Learning. Yeah. And Learning, best thing I could say. Yes. Learning. He's... You have to figure out how to control your emotion. I still don't know how. <laughs> You've gotten better. Better. <laughs> Long way to go. Ooh, Lundy. Ooh. Threw a messenger. That messenger went behind it. It did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good try by Roger there. Maloney is Maloney just, just, just it's got a But see how he keeps that hand behind it? Yep. yep. Well, you know, I, mean, I, mean, I know it's looking like it's hooking a ton, but <laughs> not, not, no, no, I no. Mean, what is he at 17 in, in, at the arrows and maybe 12 yes. down lane? and It's not changing direction. I think he's throwing a magic gem. Yeah, because he could realistically. He, he can he hook, hook the whole lane. Yeah, he could, he, exactly. If he wants to. Yes. And he's smart. He's What's, what's the lane in the pattern giving me? I'm going to do that. Well, and. This surface here, what what is this one? Um, some is this the, the same surface as Arapaho has? Is it um, HPL something? What, what oh, is it? so it's uh, old AMF HPLs I th or SPLs? I'm not sure, but it's considered high friction. Gotcha. So when you have the surface that's high friction, you know, depending on what we're seeing with patterns, and, and, you know, like you're really good at understanding these graphs. What I noticed immediately is it was easy if you tuck the ball by a board, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. You got, just like Roger's shot right there. He had it in a little bit at the start, and it wasn't going to hold the pocket. Absolutely. So you don't have that built-in big hold. No. No. It, you could create it with your hand position. But if your hand position was in the wrong, like watch Dante on this one. Keeps his hand up the back. 
It'll hit the pocket. Yeah. Ball's not changing direction that much. And that's the new Optima item. Yeah. That did throw some, some yeah. serious yeah. strikes. There's Maloney again. See, just right up the back. He doesn't even he doesn't even know he struck. Watch. He's gonna turn around. Watch. Watch. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> he didn't know. That one. He maybe he needs that uh, rugby scorekeeper where he gives him the sign that it's good. Mr. Cooper. What's this? You can still call me once a week. <laughs> He'll be in town for Swiss. I look forward to giving him the business. <laughs> there, there Bring you your go. truck. I want to go get some free stuff, Cooper. <laughs> there goes Brian. Good shot there. Not sure. Now Maloney does that. Is he on the front? He's seven. So Where are we at here? Got a nice string going. So he could finish what? 59, 89, 90, or 89, 19, 49. So he can get the 249 here. 249. Okay. Which is always oh, nice. Oh, see how he got that right? Did it get back? Woo! Ooh, he's creating some area. Yes. <laughs> That's a five bagger. So again, we'll do the finals after. We're going to do a re-oil. Okay. Oh boy, Roger got that one a little right. He almost yes. got two. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Russell would say for that shot? Well, if you're going to allow for a hook, <laughs> throw a hook. I, I two counted at a regional before. The only time I've ever thrown a two count. Who it was, happened to be in the wrong who place. Who was the, the wrong professional time. that went two and then put it through the same spot? Oh yeah, somebody that was on a live stream. The Chapman. Was it? I forget who it was, but yes, I did. <laughs> we did see that. That was that was awesome. That's a better shot. I was in. Woo! So he, somewhere in between those two. <laughs> Chelsea on two. There you go. Nice. There you go. She's got what 147, so she gets to 177. This huh? pattern was just hard enough to drive you nuts. <laughs> Which is, uh, that's what I like. I like patterns like that, where it's not like impossible, where nobody's going to score, but it's just enough that you can't go willy-nilly either. No. And if you, you know, if you take your concentration down, you pay a penalty. All right, I think Maloney's going to get a nine count here. Something's telling me nine. Uh-oh. Yeah. Put the jinx on him. He got eight. That's all right. right. I think he was trying something <laughs> exactly. personally. 247. Oh, Brian had that in. Let's see. Chelsea, back door's a strike there on two. <laughs> see, that, that shot on six, that, that's the one that, that drove me nuts. Oh. Because you're not trying to change direction, <laughs> and it just goes right through the fence. And, and it's just because you had it in. I mean, <laughs> legitimately had it in by a board or two. And it's just not going to hold. Like Roger there, see, I just... <laughs> See what Ron, so Ron can punch out what for 240? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Great shot. Yep. See if Brian gets this. Oh. <laughs> Four of them. That's, that's frustrating. You're on a big string and you go 5 4. <laughs> I mean, he could pro shop partner standing there. Right, he, uh, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice shirt. Colorful. It is. I actually like the color. It looks like my kid's uh, artwork. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in the pro shop business? Oh, gosh. Um, well, with JJ, I've been doing it since 2015. Okay. At this center. Um, but with Grandpa, I mean, I've been doing drilling all my life. Okay. Yet, you know, that's just where it starts when you're a kid because he owned the center. So. <laughs> um, Brett and them helped me out at Crown years back, and then that didn't work out well because I wasn't mature enough to. <laughs> I wanted to do other things. <laughs> so 
Um, working out well here. I love Cindy in this place, obviously. So, awesome. And you guys do good, great work. No doubts about that. Well, I got a good. You know, the sporting staff is good. With with we got Brian and Isaac down here now, and you know, just you learn every day. Tiffany says hi. Oh well, hello, young lady. Hope you're feeling better. <laughs> hope, hope hopefully that neck ain't bothering you too bad. We'll try to keep your boy here in line. <laughs> We've done a bad job this weekend, but we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> and Christina Marshall, hey, just keep working at it. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the process. It, you know, it, it, the funny thing was somebody was asking me yesterday, you know, not to be on a personal thing, like, what happened? I'm like, what's bowling? <laughs> and what felt good Monday didn't feel good today. And, and that's just the game. It, shot to shot, game to game, day to day, it's... It, the guys that have that consistency, I'm impressed with because I don't have that anymore. Correct. Even at my age, I don't. What felt good Monday doesn't feel good Tuesday. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The battle within. Uh, that is a hundred percent correct. And we don't get to see that. We don't know what's going on with these guys' brains right now and what their feels are and mm -hmm. if they feel good or bad or. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting an update that Mama's doing good. Yeah, she is. But yeah, you know that that's the that that's the hard part with bowling, you know. For at least fifty <laughs> years. Well, well, Mr. Cooper, you just bring that truck. Fifty years of this. I need I need some free stuff. <laughs> but you know that you know, like oh, for example, like Brett, you watch Brian. These guys have battled some injuries. Brian is a cancer survivor. I don't know if people realize that. Montoya. He is. Really. Um, so a few years back, know. yeah, a few years back, he uh, he's working for Safeway or King Supers. There was a there was an injury, and he got. He's actually it was a blessing in disguise, right? So a forklift went into his leg, okay, uh, ankle or something, and during the test they found out that he had cancer. Wow. So they were able to treat it fast and right away. And, Awesome. You know, he's doing good with it. And, um, <laughs> there's my buddy Velvet Lips. We'll get to see him next. Um, that is awesome. I heard about the, the forklift accident, yep. but I did not know that. that they, they found some cancer, and, you know, he survivor. And, um, it's hard not. It's hard for me. I, I've taken a light, you know, I've kind of taken him under the wing and treat him like a little brother. And, Absolutely. And he needed some of that. Well, and he's a good guy, and he helps me out quite a bit as well, so. It's like Brett, I'm sure a pain in his butt, but I do appreciate Brett. He's <laughs> a brother from another mother. <laughs> there you go. All right, game three, getting ready to get underway. Looks like we got Tim Tripp coming, Daryl Stone, uh, Sherless. We'll catch Sherless on five and six. Rachel Ray looks like she's coming over she here. She bowled great on Friday. And Jacob Jackson. I know you weren't here. Rachel bowled Did fantastic you? on Friday. Awesome. New up and comer. She's started what last year, maybe. I don't know. And bowling tournaments and stuff. So yeah. I think, yeah. She's really uh, jumped into it, and this is what she wants to do, she's, which is awesome. She's doing well at it. I was, <laughs> you know, it caught my eye as far as, like, watching the scores, and I'm like, I, I just didn't know the name. I feel like I know a lot of people around here. And I, I first weekend I've really gotten a chance to watch her compete and bowl, and she does a lot of right things. Yeah, from up north. Um, I think bowls out of... Sweetheart, I want to say. Or maybe Highland. Five years of cancer free, according to Tiffany. Awesome. Yeah, so five years ago, yeah. There we go. You know, not to throw his business out <laughs> in the street, but hey, <laughs> you know, the man's been through a lot, and uh, we're, we're proud of him. Oh, here absolutely. So. Absolutely. And I, I can't imagine Daryl and Mark what conversation they're having right now. <laughs> and if you've ever had the pleasure of talking to Mark, just understand that conversation going to take you a few minutes. Yes. <laughs> he is not sure when to. No, oh, no. Absolutely <laughs> Look not. at Tim. Tim's ready to go. He's like, hey, what's in your problem? Let's go. Are we ready? Uh, okay. So All we're right. through. It looks like we're wrapping up game two. We, yes. we will try, guys, to get scores. Um, I will yell at the people around to see what's <laughs> going on, but uh, it is quick paced. And yes. So that usually they'll walk around with the board. I don't know if they're going to do it this squad, but um, 
if we get the board. <laughs> Maybe we can send Lucia back or something. We'll get the board, or I'll go get it. No Let worries. Let Lucia talk. I'm <laughs> sure people are tired of me. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass you off to her really quick because she's going to do what we've done is now we have this thing. So during the live stream, she's going to do her joke of the her joke of the week. Oh, so you get to listen to it first, Hayden. Um I've got jokes not appropriate for this show. <laughs> wait, wait till you get a load of this one that she's got. And don't be. Okay, so I I told her this one. And I told her she could use this one if she really wants. But so, but what had happened was she was at the store the other day, right? Um, looking. And she calls me and says, hey, I cannot, for the life of me, I cannot find a candle holder. I just can't find one. I said, where are you? I'm Target, I'm Walmart, can't find a candle holder. I said, well, cool. just buy a cake. <laughs> it got really quiet around here. So that is my cue to go find something. So wait till you hear this joke that she's got. Buy a cake? <laughs> That's what that was your advice for today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now you get to enjoy Wait, this level oh of a joke. Oh boy. <laughs> here we go. Oh boy. Okay, so here's the thing though. <laughs> There's been this joke that has been going on for however many months that I just cannot get out without laughing. Like, it's probably the worst joke in the whole entire world. Oh, well, let's hear it. Everybody's waiting. Okay. <laughs> would, you, would you like to hear a joke about a piece of paper? <laughs> sure. No, you don't. It's terrible. <laughs> ba bum bum. Uh, okay. There's a new one. The joke of the week is... What did one wall say to the other? I'll meet you at the corner. I'll meet you. <laughs> Lucia, Lucia, <laughs> Lucia. So it's pretty much just became a at, thing. At least they're clean. Exactly. I will give you that. They're clean. Yeah. They're they're when all age appropriate. They, well, mine are not. <laughs> mine uh, are not. I can only imagine. You don't want to. I, d I don't. I really keep, don't. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you away from the likes of us for now. <laughs> You're a good girl. You're on the right path. We don't want to disrupt that. Yeah, that. Yeah, we don't want to disrupt my clean brain over here. Yeah, well. Yeah. You're hanging out with Rob. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> and we'll figure this out. <laughs> but let me, uh, uh, guys, let me go get you some scores. We're through two. We're through two, you think, Rob? Game three, yep. so let me see if I can go get you guys some scores, um, and we'll see where we're at. And again, we'll start the finals right after. We're going to do a re-oil, and then we'll go into our finals. Um, but uh, we will be right. I will be right back. Oh, let me let me go look up these scores for you all that are watching. We appreciate it. Appreciate Rob and Neil. So thank you all.
Here we got some updated cut scores after two, because they're in game three now. The leader in the open division, Nathan Sabato Trujillo, at plus 87. The cut is Evan Kurtz at plus 16. Senior division, Kevin Maloney is your leader at plus 70. Cut is Wayne Stalock at minus 18. For the women's division, your leader plus 93, Kelly Zapp. That makes a lot of sense. She had a really good game. Yes. I think it was second game. She shot 290. Was that game two? Yeah, because yeah. you just left that one. Yep. Um, so <laughs> she must only saw 203 in the first game. So 203, 290 gives her plus 93. Yeah. And your cut for the women is plus 13. That is core complement. So Rick will be doing his duties, making sure that she's got what she needs to make it to the next round. Yes. Uh, we got Isaac trudging through here, still trying to eat. With his, what did he put on that thing? Uh, I think it's just loaded uh, tater tots is what it looks like. Yep. Somewhat. Uh, Got a lot of movement around. We do. On. This is coming in game four, the last one. Yes. So this is where it all happens. We figure out who's going to move on to our eliminator rounds. The eliminator rounds will be eight in the senior or in the open division, six in the senior division, and four in the women's division. And don't the women skip out around? Yes. So what I heard? Yep. So we can all get done at the same time. They'll set out the first round because the, the open will cut from eight to four. The seniors will cut from six to four. So then we're all even at fours and then go from there. Sounds good. Yes. A winter, 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 winter. Otherwise known as a winner. I just put a T in there. I don't know why. Yeah, that was a little random. That a little was. weird. So now, what are you, Mr. Hernandez? Are you just taking a break? Relaxing? You all right? What'd you shoot that last game? Okay. <laughs> hey. So we're take that luck. Gotcha. Okay. All you do is make the cut. Doesn't matter whether you're first or the number. It all goes away. So. Our friend Isaac is right above the cut line. We're going to get some uh, standing sheet here relatively quickly, hopefully. Yes. If not, we are heading into game four of the semis. This will be the last game of semis. Before we get to our elimination round. Uh, looks like coming to the pair, we got a, a DJ grind. See, no S. I know, I'm impressed. Usually you put an <laughs> S at the end of his last name. <laughs> DJ's going over to seven and eight, it looks like. So coming to our pair, we'll find out here in a second. They're coming from the high side. Yes. So it might take a few. We oh got Kevin Hartman. Looks like he's going to be on one and two. Emily's coming back down. I thought they started on <laughs> one and two. Would you? What lane are you at? 54? So 254 for Emily game two. Clean. Nice. <laughs> Maybe she started on one and two for their uh, qualifying round. That's where she started. Yeah, because I feel like she's been down here quite a bit. <laughs> hanging out on this end. So she'll end on one and two. Yes. And let's see who's coming to three and four and five and six. Still nobody at the moment. No, they are slow rolling it. Yes, they are. Let's see if we got anything going on, on up here. They are almost to the finish line. We got Brandon Knowles. On 24. He can get the. I think he can. Shoot 300. Yeah. So we could have our first 300 of the tournament here. Glad we took a look down there. I know, me too. Oh, scary. So 23 24, Brandon Knowles. He's a really good bowler. He's bowled yeah. in a lot of. He won the Masters. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, so he won the Denver Masters. Yes, Brandon Knowles has got game. All right, looking for the first one in the 10th. Ooh, sends the messenger and doesn't get it. So gets a nine count there, so we won't have a 300 there. Leaves that darn 10 pin. <laughs> and we got Alfred Wolf eating some sort of candy. 
If you get it right, it's Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> Noel's take care of the spare here. And he does. Yeah, yes, he does. Made it more interesting than it needed to be, but he does take care of the spare. So strike here puts him at 279. There's been a couple high scores throughout. We got yeah. that uh, 290, 254s to 79. So. It's been a couple 240s. Yeah. They're figuring this out. Yeah. And of course, these are the people who bowled well on it to begin with, uh, to make it to this point. So. They understand the exactly reason. where to put the ball. You got it. Does he strike here? Yeah, I say he does. Okay. Well, I don't want you to jinx him or nothing. No, that would be bad. Oh, and looky, lucky, you are the best. Thank you. I'll do this for your next time, I sorted first. No, no worries. So it looks like in the open division after two games, your leader, your leader was uh, Nathan, plus 87. So those scores are after two. They're working on game three now because uh, there's a couple of people still left. Knowles did finish at 279. Just outside the cut after game two was Evan Kurtz was the number at plus six or plus 16. He was just outside the cut. Uh, Brian Montoya was at plus six. DJ Grind was minus one, and Daryl Stone was minus three. So they all, as well as Mike Mounts at minus four, minus five for Tom Sneed, minus six for Mark Shirless, minus 12 for Jacob Jackson, all have a relatively good shot of making it. Um, Just also, a couple last games. Yes, and coming in for the senior division after two. Your number was Stelic at minus 18. Right below him was Tim Tripp at minus 19. Popovich was minus 21, and Mike Riley is minus 47. So they're all fairly tight in there as well. Maloney was your leader, and then the women. Uh, the number, the cup number was plus 13. Chelsea Tonsing is right outside the cut at minus eight. So she'll need a couple good games to make it into the cut. Again, this is after two. After game three is coming up shortly. They are, Just I think everybody's finished. finished yet. Not yet, Kelly Zapp has made her way over. Shot 290 earlier. Looks like she's coming to three and four. Yes. She gets another 290. <laughs> Is Emily going to fly away? <laughs> it's, I, it's definitely a competition between the two of them. Ah. Usa. <laughs> <laughs> She's meditating over here. No, there's been some high scores. There has. Especially on the women's side, too. Between Emily and Kelly. They're definitely competing. Yes. I think both of them make the cut. Yes. So who did we decide had the best jersey today so far? I think we're going with JJ. I do believe yeah. we're going with JJ. Now, the only thing I don't like about his jersey is his name blends in too much. It was like black, maybe? Or, yeah. Or the orange. Or start orange and go to purple, so then it flows with the shirt a little bit. Yeah, I can I see that. I think uh, JJ's the leader in the clubhouse with the jersey. Uh, we'll see when more people come down this way, but right now he is. Yeah, his is. This is pretty good. Yeah. Otherwise, I haven't seen. I like Nathan's too. Nathan. Um. Sabato. Yep. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad at all. Good game for Mr. Knowles. Yeah. All right. Looks like that is the end of game two there. So we'll go back over here as they get ready. For game four. Yep. So three is done. Last game. It is. Here comes Mr. Mellinger. He looks like he's going to be on three and four. Or is it? Yep, three and four. 
Good guess. And then we gotta figure out the third and figure out who's on five and six. Are they still bowling, the people who are going to the five and six? I think they might be. Oh, is it Knowles? Is it his pair? I think it's his pair coming it down. Is. So Brian Rupkin, he's going to be on five and six as well. See, I like his jersey too. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Yeah. So it's almost time to get started. Looks like they have their three, and it's Kelly, Dwayne, and who's their third? Is it Anthony? It is. Yes. Mr. Solano. You see him every Wednesday? Yeah. At least during the winter yes, time. Yes, during the winter time, yes. Bulls with his wife, and then his two little ones come. <laughs> yes. They're so adorable. Good times, good yes. times. I feel like Wednesday Night League is where all the kids are at. Yeah, <laughs> there's That's a lot of sure. kids there. No doubts about that. You have the Jocelyns. Yep. You have the Solanos. Yep. You have the, um, what's Nathan's last name? Kirkley. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't think of it for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> all um, right. Looks like uh, Brandon starts off with a four pin. Here comes our Kelly. She starts off with a 10. Keep forgetting she's a lefty. <laughs> Until she throws the ball and then you remember she's left-handed. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> it's like, what? One of the very few women left-handers, for sure. Yeah, there's definitely not very many. Yep. Ones that come to mind, Tess Johnson. Yep. Uh, Kelly and... I can't think of totally the one off the top of my head. Yeah. There's Solano. I feel like there's a lot of lefties in this tournament. Like, uh, I feel like I've seen quite a few. They're doing well right now, that's for sure. Yeah. Figuring it out. Yes. Good 10 pin pickup. <laughs> Solano looking to take care of his 10 pin. And he got it. No, no doubts about it. Hey, Dwayne Mellinger. He's coming off of an injury. What was his injury? Uh, I can't remember. He had surgery on something, I believe. Because, I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to put you on another mission at some point here to figure that yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> well, we found we out Mr. Maloney happened. used to be a rugby player. Yeah. Figured out. Uh, Kevin's last name, which yeah, is? I can't remember how. Cirelli? Yep. There you go. Cirelli, I think it was. Um, and then who else? Oh, it was Ron's. What ball Ron was using? Yes. I've still never even heard of that ball. Honey Badger? Yeah. yeah. What brand? Global 900. It? Yeah, I had no idea. Well, they learn something new every day. I do. There's Brandon. What's your favorite ball? What's my favorite ball? Yeah, what's your favorite ball? Uh, probably Black Venom. Why is that? It's just a good ball. Nothing to back it up? No, I mean, it's a good, reliable benchmark piece for me. Um, I like that. Primal, same thing, just slightly less. Um, so those two are probably I start off with and then scale up from there, go to an Evoke or go down. Um, Do you like the new Evoke? It's not bad. can't use it in a lot of places, but not bad. Yeah. Very good ball. What is your favorite ball? I don't know. Oh, exactly. I actually, you I know. You yelling at me and you don't even have a favorite <laughs> yeah, ball. I do, actually. It's the Summit Peak. Ah. 
That's the best ball out there. If you say so. Uh, yeah. It's all subjective. That's so you like the summit peak over the summit? Yeah. Because you were in love with the summit for a minute there. I was, but the peak definitely beat it. Okay. But I think it's also because it's a pearl, and you could see it more in the back end. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You just want the looks when of I, it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of looks, that was a nice shot there by Solano. Got the messenger come across to get it out. Then we have, again, Dwayne. Did he, he struck the first ball? Yes, he did. Looking to go for a double. That one comes in Ooh. high, leaves a 4 9. He, yeah, he was not happy about that. But I mean, it happens. It does. Sometimes at the worst times possible, too. Yeah. It's the nature of bowling and the beast. Yes. Okay, you'll get one. Especially when you're like, I've noticed it a lot more when you're throwing on sport shots. Okay. Like. Yeah, you don't have that extra forgiveness of the holes. Yeah, it's a lot tighter. And a little bit more volume. So what happens is you get the back in the lane, you get more energy. So yep. then now we're on a house shot or what have you, you probably leave a four pin or a ball goes by and leaves nine. Now you're coming in at a sharper angle and leave a four nine. And that's where it's harder to just judge it, if I'm being honest. All right, we got Solano up on three. He's looking for a double. I haven't got to say double double today. No, you haven't. But there definitely has been. There's yes. Well, because when we catch a string, it's like seven or eight. That is true. You need to make up something for eight. Eight in a row. But that's lame. <laughs> I know. That is so lame. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't you come up with some? I don't know. I got to think about that. <laughs> Solano did strike there. Got Dwayne up on four. Bounce back after that four nine. Kelly's looking for a turkey. Gets it. Yep. Nice. Solano up on four. Looking for a turkey, too. Solano kicked the four out. Good. Dwayne comes in light there. He just saw the four nine nine two pins. Or is that a two eight? I think it's just a two. Yeah. I think he made it, tried to make an adjustment. It just didn't come up the way he wanted it to. Kelly. She's on a turkey. It's not a four bagger? No, turkey. Okay. Wayne takes care of that spare. It feels like it's going by really quickly today with having only four on a pair and then three on a pair. Yes. It definitely feels like it's going really quickly. And they are moving. They're not. Yeah. They're not messing around. No. All right, Solano's looking for the. The double double. There you go.
and he got it. Yes, he did. Great shot there. It is weird, located close to the door here, and it, it looks great outside. I know. It needs to be summer already. It's getting too cold. <laughs> yeah, it was cold Especially yesterday, yesterday yeah. <laughs> There's Kelly looking for that. Got that one away from her a little bit. Leaves the one, three, nine. But I mean, I guess summer will be here before we know it, though. It's like only, what, a month away? Yeah. It's, it's got one out because we're, yeah, because we're in spring, so yeah. Yeah. So what are you looking at bowling next? I, uh, so no matter what, I'm doing Junior Masters next, which is next week. Um, but I'm trying to convince my dad to let <laughs> me go to New Mexico for the JBT Invitational. Okay. Um, cause I qualified for that one and, um, I think I'm only a few points off from the, I think it's called the TPC. Okay. Which is in Vegas, but I don't know if he'll go for that one. Cause we <laughs> go to main event every single year. Gotcha. Um, but I mean, we'll see. I'm really hoping to do that one. Okay. So standings after game three. Which division would, do you want to do? Um, I'll do the ladies. Okay. Okay. In first place is Emily. She's at plus 76. She shot 254 her third game. Then in second is Kelly. And she's at plus 63. Then is Rachel Ray at plus 9. And then... Um, I'm pretty sure cut score is minus eight and it's Cora. And then right underneath is Chelsea with minus 50. And yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's go seniors. We're going to do this all backwards today. We so are going backwards. Seniors, cut score, Dwayne Mellinger at plus five. Wayne Stalick is in fifth at plus seven. Scott Myers is at 12 over. Roger Wallers, plus 41. John Johnson, JJ, plus 79. Kevin Maloney, after 223, 247, 265, puts him at 135 over. He's been bowling really well lately. Absolutely. Super well. Tim Tripp is just outside the number. He is at minus 18. As for the open division, the new leader, Brandon Knowles, after shooting 279, put him at 143 over. Nathan Sabato Trujillo is plus 108. Brian Ropkin, which he is on five and six. He is 101 over. Ron Johnson the third is plus 85. Stephen Gallegos plus 74. Dante Lundy plus 65. Chris Kelso is in seventh at 64 over. Uh, eighth place and the number is plus 49, Corey Ledette. Brian Montoya is 20 back at plus 29. Corey shot 280 last game. That's what got him in there. So That's a been, big game. There's been 290, 280, 279, 250s. So there's some some serious numbers going on. Uh, Brandon, 218, 246, 279. Uh, second place, Nathan, 244, 243, 221. So numbers are looking pretty good. Solano is trying to catch him. He was minus 56, so he would need a gigantic game to get in. Dwayne. Seen Dwayne, where is he at? Oh, he's in the seniors. That's what that, that could be. It's like why well, keep Dwayne is in sixth, so he's okay right now. He is actually the number. Who else we got down there? Kelly Zapp, she's she's cruising. in second. Yeah, she's cruising right along. She shot 290 her first game, then 203 her second. So it was the first game that she shot the 290. And then Emily shot um, 186, 236, and then 254. She's trending in the right direction for sure. Yes.
So again, they'll take four women, six seniors, and eight open. It's Eliminator, we're cut the field. Eight to four to two, and your champion. Seniors will be six, four, two champion, and women, four, two champion. Should be interesting, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, there's a lot of people still can make it in for sure. Yeah. Or could bowl the way out of it, so you don't want to do that. No, but I mean, it's happened before. Yes. Everybody does it once in a while. And that's part of not watching uh, scoreboard and uh, just bowling. Yeah. Because when you, when you know you're either a number or you have to shoot a number, then you start stressing and trying to get to that number. I've learned that I overthink it <laughs> big time. <laughs> So are you bowling anything? Uh, I got nationals coming up in June. I think that's the only thing, yeah. And then you oh, had no. Yeah, we Kansas. got the adult youth, we got adult youth uh, tournament. Yeah. What is that? That's the fourth. Yep. So you forgot about that one. I did forget about that ah, one. Shame on you. Well, I that's know. okay, I'm not bowling with you anyway. Actually, it's not okay. No, I'm not bowling with you, I'm bowling. Hey, I'm bowling with the best bowler, best person, best everything ever uh, there you go <laughs> yeah exactly because you're bowling with kinley yeah i am kinley joslin yep and i'm bowling with carrie yes shout out to harley birthday coming up i know she's turning six years old yes she's so funny <laughs> she is nice shot there for brandon he's trying to maintain and keep himself in the lead Yes. Well, and then you bowled in Kansas, in Kansas yes, a couple we weeks did ago. Yes, yeah, I did bowl in Kansas. How would you do there? Uh, treaded a lot of water. Didn't shoot anything great. Didn't shoot anything horrible. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, Brian with that 813 out there. Yeah. yeah he, he, he bowled great. Yes, he did. He bowled really well. Um, Jason Moore bowled pretty good. Yep. Um, it, nobody bowled really, really bad. No. For the most part, it's always fun. Six teams of people. Yeah. Um, next year, we're probably going to take eight. Yes. Um, so even more. Um, I have another women's team. Yeah, that's a possibility. we got to figure out what you're doing. You still may be a junior by then. You don't know. <laughs> sure, hope not. Or maybe your first adult <laughs> tournament. That I that probably is what it's gonna be. <laughs> my first adult tournament. So. Which would be cool because yeah, I like bowling with adults. I really do. Three hundred and some days. To, but you got a lot to go still. I mean, you still got a lot of mile highs, a lot of yes. JBTs. Um, yes. But a mile high in JBT, queens. you can do until you're like what, 22, I think. Mm. Wow, you can bowl those when you're. When I'm out of being a junior. Yeah, when you, I mean, you, can, you can apply for retirement and you can <laughs> go on mile highs and JPTs. Kelly with a ball change. All right, comes up a little light there. Leaves a three pin. Anthony comes in a little bit high. And Kelly takes care of her spare. 198, not bad. For Kelly? Yeah. Okay. So that drops her down to, where'd she go? So it puts Kelly. Plus 61. There you go. Emily is right next door. She's on one and two. She ended up with 196. 196. So she dropped four. So she'll be at 72. So she should be fine. Yep. We're just going to check on Rachel Ray and Core Compliment, as well as Chelsea. Those are the other one, the other three fighting for two spots.
And I mean, I, with the plus about the elimination bracket is that it doesn't really matter what position you're in because no matter what, you can you can either stay alive or you can get out as long as you make it. No, as long as you beat half the yeah. field. All you got to do is beat half the field. You yeah. don't have to be a top person. You just got to beat half the field. Exactly. It's a, it's a blessing and a curse because if it's one-on-one, -on -one, then you only have to beat one person. Yeah. But the, the downside is if you one person can beat you and take you out versus – the eight, you have to have five people beat you. Yeah. It's a hard format, but or I guess four people one. beat you. Yes, it's it's very interesting. Yes. Because um, I mean, the top seed could even get out. Yes. If you catch a bad pair or make some questionable decisions, you yes. can go home quickly. Yes. Good spare there by Dwayne. What do I end up at? So it's 204, 214? Yeah. And 239 for Solano. So Solano, 239 cuts him at uh, minus, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Yes. <laughs> Shot one seventy. Scott Myers just came by on the hangout. We got scores going into the office. We got, looks like one pair left, which is the pair that's in front of us. Brandon Knowles was on another heater, looks like. Yeah, he's definitely stringing some together. Yep. That was solid. <laughs> that was. It's old school 10 back is what that's called. Two more Knowles can get to 48. Yep. Quick math there. Yeah, look at you go. Yeah. It's a strong suit. Uh, Mr. Hernandez finished at minus 13. And he's going to change his shoes. Mr. Vasquez just hanging out. Speaking of going to Kansas, he was there. Yep. So remember when I said nobody bowled bad? I forgot that Mike Vasquez was there. <laughs> 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 no problem. <laughs> no, it was a great, fun trip. You had fun? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was so fun. <laughs> so for but the wind coming back. Oh, the wind sucked. I was in the back seat, and um, I was like, I feel everything. Yeah, it was it. I could definitely feel everything. The wind was something fierce. Well, and then um, me, Carrie, and Maria, we all went to go get pedicures. You did? Yeah. 248 for Brandon. Good game. Yeah, that That did. was so fun. <laughs> and then I walked in heels. Well, you tried to walk in heels. Yeah, that didn't happen. But that we played a whole bunch of games. Game. We learned some yeah. new <laughs> games. Nerds. Uh, yes. I can't believe not very many people have heard of nerds. It's because you're weird. Hey, I bet you half the stream. Has heard of nerds? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Nerds I'd be is shocked if more than three people chime in and say they've heard of nerds. Please. Like, <laughs> I need people to start chiming in. Well, yeah, they're going to start lying for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's it was fun. It was it was fun. Because we had, what, four teams. Yep. And it was a two-person team, and yep. it's pretty much a fast-paced solitaire against people. Yeah. Ramon was my partner. Best team out there. You guys cheat. That's why. Uh, no, uh we won. We we got it. We were fast and everything. Well, I would hope you, you've been playing it for 40 years. I would imagine <laughs> you're pretty good at it. Actually, I'm not even 40 yet. <laughs> 
Yeah. You give us, uh, you give me about a year. If, if me and Chuck can work for a year, we kill you guys. <laughs> Not even. Yeah, well, absolutely. You guys We're good. won one. But that was because I was playing by myself. Hey, that's because you thought you were so great. What I a, oh, am so great. We also played um, pickleball. Yes. We took a beating there. We did take a beating no, there. No, no, you took a beating there. <laughs> no, we took a beating no. there. And for the record, pretty good at it, eh? See, you it could, depends on the keep, day. You keep telling me that I'm <laughs> <laughs> so versatile all these things. Yes, I can. <laughs> but no, that was that was really fun. Ate a, ate a lot. Yes, oh my <laughs> gosh. We good had, restaurants. That we had what was that breakfast place called? That was really good. Yeah, I forget what it, that place was pretty good. Yeah. And then we went to BJ's. Yep. And then, oh, well, chicken and pickle. Yep. Obviously did that Thursday. Um, what else was there? We had breakfast at the hotel day two. Yes. And then we was had. Was that Friday we had breakfast at the hotel? Yes, because the, no, yes, it yes. was. Because then we had a breakfast at the other place on Saturday. Yeah, and then Sunday we had McDonald's. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. we had to get up and get going. Oh, and we went to some, um, what was it? Barbecue place? The last day. Oh, uh, Pig In and Pig Out? Yeah, that Is was, that we that was yeah. pretty good. Yes. Pulled pork sandwich. They had good mac and cheese. Yes, <laughs> their mac and cheese was good. And then headed back out of town. Yeah. No, it was entertaining. It was an entertaining ride home. That's for sure. Yeah. A lot of events that happen. Looks like qualifying is over. We're just waiting on the standings. Once we get that, we'll let you know who has made it into the elimination rounds. They're going to do the lanes here. Uh, looks like he's got about 17 or 18 lanes to do. So it'll be a minute before that gets done. And in the meanwhile, we're still, like I said, waiting on the standings. So we'll take a break and we'll be back in a second with some standings. You will get a payout. So just hang tight. They're calculating scores.
to the front desk. Services. Cindy just told me bracket payouts were ready. Um, again, I want to personally thank all you guys for going and coming out, making the event great. We appreciate it. Bear with us. We're working on the scores. We'll get you paid out today. And once again, thank you.
live stream returning shortly. Live stream returning shortly. Okay, we got some updated standings for you. In the ladies division, the leader is Emily Eckhoff, plus 72. Second, Kelly Zapp at plus 61. Rachel Ray was even, and then third, and Cora, Cora Compliment rounds out your top four at minus 16. In the senior division, the leader, Kevin Maloney. Second place, Roger Waller. Third, John Johnson. Fourth, Wayne Stellick. Fifth, Dwayne Manager. And sixth, Scott Myers. And in the open, first, Brandon Knowles. Second, Ron Johnson, the third. Third, Steve Gallegos. Fourth, Dante Lundy. Fifth, Brian uh, Rupkin. Sixth, Nathan Sabato Trujillos. Seventh, Corey Ledet. Ran out your top eight is Chris Kelso at plus 68. So those are our uh, finalists. We'll be getting started probably about 15 minutes or less. They're just doing lanes. We only have 10 more to, to do. So hang tight and we'll be getting started shortly.
live stream returning shortly. Live stream returning 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 shortly. Alrighty. We are back <laughs> got and a few we minutes are waving before we away. <laughs> <laughs> so your assessment? Uh, oh, well, um, yeah. A little bit of a struggle for me. Um, I was doing okay. Shot 180 and then 230. Then I got down to the other end and, and I couldn't strike on the left lane. But I struck for days on the right lane, and then they kind of switched on me. I couldn't strike on the right lane and struck on the left lane to shoot 198. So, <laughs> yeah, one of those cool things. And come down here on one and two, and uh, the approach just seemed a little bit tackier, so I took it a little slower, and I kind of paid the ultimate price for it. So On the lower end? Yeah, lanes okay. one and two. So, yeah. But then, I mean, I kind of was moseying along, moseying along, and then um, I think I left – what did I leave? Uh, I left a 2.810, I think, and that was around game, uh, frame seven or something like that. Um, and I just kind of 
spiraled out of control from there. So <laughs> ended up finishing minus 15. So gotcha. Um, either way, I needed a really big game. I needed at least a 240, 250 game. So and the way that was going, it wasn't going to happen. So is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit different today. I'm, I'm not sure what my moves would have been. Um, it seemed like the more left I went, the worse it got. Um, I kind of just got trapped somewhere in there. So, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, happens. So, got a check. That's always I good. Did. I did. Definitely made some money over this weekend. So, pulling for free is always good. And yes, it is. So, you can't complain about that. So, we're <laughs> just kind of hanging out, waiting around, yes. you know. And uh, thank you, Felix. We were calling it our because we, there was a pig in a pig out in in Kansas, but. Hog Wilds, the barbecue place we went to, it was awesome. Yeah, that place has got. The only thing I wish they would have is burnt ends. I wonder why they don't have burnt ends there. <laughs> and maybe they do, and they just keep it for themselves. <laughs> That's just so <laughs> selfish, in my opinion. Because yeah, that or they sold out <laughs> like the minute they opened. So, but either way, yeah, that's a pretty good place. So, you guys are ever in the Wichita area? Check out the Hog Wild. Yes, yep. it's pretty good. So. Yes, good dessert, yes. great mac and cheese, yes. whole gamut of greatness there. So it's very it was good. Because awesome. right, we were talking about Kansas and uh -huh. everybody. I mean, no one bowled really bad. Everybody no. bowled. Uh, no. Brian bowled really well. Uh, Jason Moore bowled well. Um, had a fun time as normal as always. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're gonna try to leave Lucia there next year. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she has no idea. No, not <laughs> at all. So yeah, it was kind of fun. I struggled out there. It was—I mean, my knees were still kind of bugging me a little bit, but not a lot. So I uh, got—I got whooped in brackets. That was the first <laughs> first year in what seven years, eight years we've been going. So it was a little rough. <laughs> Unfortunately, it happens. It the, does. Um, I think the best thing. Since it's become Blair, yeah, I mean, is one of the good things. And granted, I, didn't, I don't think it was like that before, but we had the pizza as usual. Yep. But they had some ha um, jalapenos. Those things were perfect. Were they? Oh, I don't oh, think yeah. I had those. Those were on point. They were probably the best jalapenos I've had in forever. Nice. They were. Uh, they were awesome. I'll have to check those out next time I'm yeah, go well, back. <laughs> I'll probably get them out of the can next. <laughs> but um. And like I said, it was it's it's always fun um, getting six teams of people. I think next year we're up to eight, so fun times. Are we going back to Wichita again? Are they as they're still in the the mist? So they haven't signed a contract yet. They're figuring all those things out. So I heard a tidbit that every time we've been out there, they've just used the house shot. Is that true? Uh, I'm gonna say no, no, cause because when it was North Rock, I don't think they were using a house shot. I can almost guarantee I think that. One year they may have, like the yeah. one year when the college kids still could bowl every squad, and they were just shooting Whacking 300 it. every yeah. other shot. Yeah, I remember every that. Other game. that was like six years ago. <laughs> yeah, five or six like years ago. I think that one was a house shot. Um, others have been, I mean, modified. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can almost guarantee you that. But it seems like. See, even last year wasn't a house shot because it was something, but it wasn't a house shot, even though that's when Valero took over. But it definitely. Full claws in it. Yeah. yeah. But definitely this year was a house shot. It was house and I don't know if you could tell or not, but <laughs> I got, I was talking to Tina Taylor and um, Terry Taylor, and they're like, yeah, this year they put down the house shot. I'm like, Valero's house shot? They're like, yep. I'm like, okay, makes sense. So, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. So. Yeah, uh, it's 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 interesting. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's a great tournament. Even yeah. With the, I mean, before and eh, this year ran great. I'm not knocking any of this no. year's. Um, but what really got us uh, committed to it? We'll be going for we're in 2000. What are we in? 23? No, 24 this year. So probably 15 years. I would say we probably joined in halfway through uh, that. So, um, And it's always been good. Been good, 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 good. good. <laughs> uh, Mr. Solano comes over and just <laughs> it takes the rest of it. He took half my beer. <laughs> 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 there you go. What do you mean? <laughs> 
with just Alano. I had to set him straight there for a while. He was <laughs> killing me. He's like, well, where were you? I was like, oh, I was debating on whether to help you or not. <laughs> <laughs> I got to let you struggle a little bit. <laughs> well, definitely a good day without that guy. <laughs> Goes back way back. <laughs> yeah. Way back. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy at a tournament in a long time. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. Jeffrey Clark. <laughs> <laughs> they were telling jokes earlier. <laughs> Cooper's still online, is he? Uh, he was earlier. Uh. Her... Um, did you hear her, her joke was about walls today, by the way. Walls? Yes. I forget how it works, but it's about walls. Thank you, sir. Fun times. Michelle. Everybody's <laughs> looking for Michelle. Hey, everybody asks Isaac, where's Michelle? I ain't That's answering <laughs> nobody until they ask how I'm doing. No. <laughs> She's That's up in, uh, where are they at today? Fort Collins. <laughs> Dolan State. Be good, buddy. Good seeing you. We'll see you soon. Yeah, all right. We'll see you. You guys are in Bowling Wednesday, right? See them next week. No way. You, no way. You don't do that. What's up? Uh, Swiss is next week. No, no. Too much money going on over there. It's all right. <laughs> Just kind of hoping I would have got a few extra dollars to do that, but it ain't going to happen. That's we're, Yeah, we are talking about that because uh, um, Rick said he's going to bowl Swiss, and it's, it's, it's a great time, but you got to know that you're going to be in for a lot. Depending on your team. Yeah. I mean, if your team's not in for a lot, you probably aren't going to win. Well, it's a likely thing. Yes and no. So I've seen teams that didn't buy themselves back and they end up winning the whole thing. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they make like 400 bucks each. <laughs> You're like, man, all you guys had to do is spend half, and you guys would have made, you know, like $1,000 each or something like that. That's so. true. Huh, yeah. It happens. I've seen teams that uh, go for a ton of money and – Go sideways quickly. Yep, fast. I've been on both ends of that. so <laughs> That's never good. I remember one year I had to tell the guy to stop bidding. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Stop. Yeah, Derek is. What did the wall say to the other wall? <laughs> <laughs> How will it be that name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I forgot what the punch oh, was. Oh, goodness so. grace. All right, Stacy. <laughs> Where's your punch line for your wall joke? Oh, man, we had to look it up. <laughs> She's writing it down and stuff. <laughs> if Stacy Roberts gets to the punchline before you, you got a problem. There you go. What did one wall say to the other? Ooh. Meet you at the corner. Yep, see, Stacy's <laughs> on it, yes. <laughs> Stacy, <laughs> Stacy, <laughs> Stacy. Awesome. Uh. <laughs> Gigabyte. Yeah. <laughs> the data. <laughs> Do not entertain any more of these. <laughs> what we're going to drink now is, though, the people who made the cut. <laughs> what the? <laughs> uh, um, okay, we're gonna get started. All right, here. before we get on, I'll, I'll give them my. Okay, how do you? How do you? Get an elephant into the subway. You remove the S from sub and the F from way. Write it down. Here, use a pen and write it down. So it's not really a punchline. It's just what you're thinking about what's being said. So write the word subway. Okay. What are you supposed to take away? Okay, so take that out. And what else? What's the matter? <laughs> you don't get it. Okay, we're in practice of elimination. So they got a few shots of practice. That's what we're working on now. This one's kind of a brain stumper, to tell you the truth. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Stacey Roberts says she knows this one. She should know this one because I'm <laughs> the one who told it to her. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You keep working on it. You'll figure it out eventually. Okay, tell her to spell Subway. She spelled Subway. Okay. Cross out the S from Sub and the F from Way. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 you forgot to put the N in there, Stacy. <laughs> There's no F in way. There's Mr. Stones leaving the building. Stone. All right, enough of this uh, <laughs> mumble jumbo stuff. We've got. Who do we got going? What on time? Here? Okay. Yeah. They're gonna bowl two games. Total pins. And then what, cut to top five? Or? Top four for open division, top four for the seniors. And then the ladies will join us back in, and we will <laughs> go. Uh, then everybody will be at the four count. So then cut that to two, and then okay. get our champion. So elimination. Yes. Okay, I yeah, like elimination. it. Elimination. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Okay, so out in front of us, we got, um, let's see here, Scotty Myers, Wayne Stellick, Brandon Knowles. These are going to be on one and two, which we won't be on. Yeah. Um, five and six is uh, uh. Steve Geigos, uh, Brian Rubkin, and Kevin Maloney. And then. What is so we're using every other pair, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Then okay. on. A little further down, we got looks like uh, JJ, John, yep. John Johnson, Kelso, uh, Dante Lunday. Uh, he's down yonder. Who else is down there? Nathan Sabatos Trujillo and Roger Waller. We're still only working two cameras. Nerds, Mike Hammond, yes. <laughs> Nerds, I think he, <laughs> he likes. Have you ever played Nerds? Nerds. Yes. Yes, N-E-R-T-S. Can't say that I have. Thank you. See, you're the only person in America's heard of that. <laughs> no, he was not there. No, I didn't room with you. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> when you're here in Wichita. Okay, yeah, I heard that story. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Exactly. I heard some stories about that night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Nerds. I'll have to look that up and see what it's all about. Absolutely. Brandon Knowles was your top seed in the open division. He's yeah. 191 over. Second was Ron Johnson at 139. And he's over on the high, high end, I believe. So they're going to flip-flop players, maybe? Or go from high to low, low to high. For the women, the leader was Emily Atkoff. Emily, yep, she was a 72 over. Followed by Kelly. Uh, Kelly at 61. And then Miss Ray at even. And Cora at minus 16. Again, they're going to sit for this first round. Seniors, Kevin Maloney was your leader at 108 over. Roger Waller was in second plus 67. John Johnson third. Uh, Wayne Stolick fourth. Dwayne Mounds, your fifth, and Scott Myers was your sixth seed. Or the cut. All those pins drop. It's two games, total pins. Half the field goes away. Any, so looking at the open division and the senior division, who are you going to take? You want to take, take first call? All right, <sighs> so you're going in the open division first. Okay. You want to take the senior first? And I get second pick, and then y'all flip-flop the name. What are we? Oh, you're writing them down? Who are you taking? Don't be scared. I'll go ahead and go with Johnson. You're taking JJ. Yeah, I'll take Kay. JJ. It's kind of a stacked field for them seniors. 
I mean, you got a lot of experience in there. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> what happened? Who you, oh, you're take, he's taking JJ, and then who are you taking to open? And the he's senior, taking I'm taking senior. JJ, yeah. I'm taking Kevin Maloney. See, that's the other one I was going to take. And in the open, who took Brandon Knowles? Who'd you take in the open? Nobody yet. No. Oh. I am taking. You know, I'm going to take the number eight. Who's number eight? Mr. Ke Chris Kelso. Oh, that's who I was about to take. He's taking Kelso. That's who I was going to take. I, I like the home field advantage. But I am instead going to take. I'm going to take. Okay. Wow, she went old school with that pick. Interesting. I'm taking Guy Ghost. I'm going to go with Stevie, huh? We did not get the standings online. We will once we get a copy of Game 4. We'll post it on our Facebook page. So coming soon, ladies, I get first pick. You guys have first pick both those times. I'm taking one. Emily Eckhoff. Oh, of course you would. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. why wouldn't you, know you? I take that back. I'm taking Cora. And I'm going to take Ray. Okay. And you're taking Kelly. All right. So we took the... We took the favorite off the table, basically. Pretty much. Okay. That's fair. I'll take Cora. Matter of fact, in the future, that's what we're going to do. We take the favorite off the top, and then you have to pick from there. Okay. I like that. No, so no, you're good. Kelly full disclosure, the there is nothing against the favorites. No, no, no. Absolutely At not. At all. So don't be <laughs> calling us out, blowing us up, or whatever. No, in the future. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, we're just trying to make it more interesting because we don't want people to just go out and pick the, the favorite immediately. Yeah. Go Cora. There you go. See? I'm saying that. Tiffany. 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 <laughs> Dude. So we're getting ready to go. They are going to be bowling fresh and fresh. So they'll bowl their first game here, then they'll move to the lanes that are not being used for fresh for their second game. Is that what you're doing? I believe so. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. I, I thought you'd just flip. It kind of that old school PBA feel. Okay. Yeah, true. Right, let's watch Stevie really quick. Your pick. Yes. No, I, I picked. Did I pick this? Yeah, I used to. So many guy goes on the field. And Maloney. Okay, two of my guys. There we go. I like it. They're both on the same pair. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Uh-oh. So here's my secondary. I'm going to go with uh, these are just hypotheticals. So I'm going to go with Stella. I was here's. thinking about him. Okay. Absolutely. And then in the open, I am going to take Mr. Urethane. Gotcha. Okay. I think. And on the ladies, I would probably go with. We can't take out Dwayne, though. Dwayne's always got a shot. Dwayne does, yes. But he's still coming back yep. from the injuries. Yep. The re knee replacement, something like that. I love the guy. I'm bowling nationals with him this year. No, I'm sorry. The Swiss next week, and I'm bowling with him. So. What did he have done? Uh, a knee? knee replacement, yeah. Gotcha. So, okay. I mean, he's not quite a hundred percent, but I'm sure he's he's very very close. So. Gotcha. Um, and then 
for the women. I mean, it's it's a coin flip between all of them. <laughs> uh, my secondary will be Cora. So that's who we're rooting for. Any of them, actually, they all are very awesome. Yeah, the ladies. Yeah. Yes. There's no there's no loser in that. Okay, group. here we go. I'm gonna throw a plot twist at you. <laughs> my pick is whoever wins the ladies. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Glad you you. you Come on. <laughs> that was pretty. Play with I, me. I, was, I think you would win that way. <laughs> I think you'd win your back if you didn't think of it. <laughs> Maloney comes up a little light. I'm not supposed to put the kiss of death on these people. Don't have me vote for you guys. <laughs> Brandon Knowles comes in light there. You're going to see him on two there. There's the urethane. Actually, I don't think he's throwing urethane. I think he moved to reactive. Ah, left, him, left at nine or eight pin. Might go back to urethane. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I agree with that strategy, but in a way it somewhat makes a little bit of sense, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just upset because I left my urethane at home. Brilliant. Didn't think you were going to need it? After bowling yesterday? No. Uh, I still don't think it would have been good anyway, so. I think you're just asking for trouble when you do that. Gotcha. All right, Stevie G. <laughs> Myers looks like there. Not sure how to react to that. <laughs> Maloney looking for his first strike here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Ooh. Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Trip six. Get some of that. Dude, I had a couple <laughs> of those today. I had a trip six just like that. And yesterday I carried the three six ten. Twice. <laughs> Schaefer was like, are you kidding? I was like, no, you've seen it, so no, I'm not. <laughs> There's some, yeah, the pin action was a little weird tonight, this weekend. So okay. Actually good, to tell you the truth. Wow. So. Yeah, quick thanks to everybody for nice. hanging out with us today. Again, this is the first annual. There will be more of these. Next one is in January. I believe is what he said, yeah. Yes, wild I card weekend. Yeah, I told him I couldn't make it because I was busy. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Arns have left the building. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, there's a rare miss by Stelic. There we go. Well, he just had to get warmed up. Gallego starts with a uh, four. He's got the double double. There you go, double double. The double double. Did you forget that word? No, we uh, nobody. Because every time we see somebody with a string of strikes, we caught it like in the seventh frame. Uh, so we okay. never got to say double double until now. Well, okay. earlier we said it one time. So. I'm a little intrigued by this player. He used urethane, the purple hammer, green dot, throughout qualifying today and pretty much whacked it and now has opted to throw reactive. I'm not sure I understand that, but Stevie with a Cinco. He, does. he, he wants to move on. <laughs> he, no doubts about that. He wants to move on. The object here is get as high a score as you possibly can yep. the first game, so then that way you've got a lead coming into the second game. And they're only taking four, right? Yes. Okay. So you got Scott Myers here. He's working on a bird. Looking for a double-double himself. He'll be coming into frame on lane two here shortly. There he goes. 
Wow. wow. There Look we at go. That. Look at that. That's some Scott Meyer some love fingers right there. at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not the middle fingers, <laughs> just the pointers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't start calling us out yet. <laughs> then shout out to Christy. Yep, she's been Christy working hard Schaefer, today. Yeah. Now, now she's tired. <laughs> Another hour. We it's all like carry that board is a lot of work. <laughs> we get the ball with her every Monday. She bowls up there. Yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's like my Michelle. She's the same way. She's got to be up early, and she'll just lay in bed. She's got this weird habit where she'll lay in bed turn the volume down on the TV all the way, turn on the closed caption, and then play on her phone. Really? Yeah. And she'll do that for an hour, <laughs> two hours, three hours. Be like 12, 1 o'clock, and I'll roll over. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My biggest problem is I usually I go to bed around uh, 10, 11. But as soon as I wake up, even if I woke up at... Ooh, bad break ooh, by Stevie G. That is. Yep. If I woke up at... Uh, Midnight, one or two, uh -huh. can't go back to sleep. Once really? I wake up, I am You're done. done. Yep. See, I got kind of have that <laughs> habit too. I'm up around. I wake up between two thirty and three thirty for some insane reason. Just wake up, <laughs> exactly. and then it's like, oh well, I don't have to be up till four thirty. And then by the time I'm done messing around, the alarm clock's going off. I'm like, oh, well, this ain't no good. So <laughs> it's just weird. It's like every night I wake up between those times. That's I don't weird. know why. Don't even try. Yeah, it don't matter whether I go to bed at 8 o'clock or midnight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Steve gets one. I don't know what they're doing. Over what here. are these birds doing? I have <laughs> no idea. Sorry, we got distracted. Yeah, these they, chicks over here are flapping their arms. Uh, and I have no idea what they're doing over here. Bring came in a little high on one. Steve looking to rebound. I can go five bagger, open five bagger. It's always good. Nice shot there. Interesting. Let's uh let's see what's going on down on the other one real quick. Scott really quick. Let's is that six? Six for Scott. We got nothing. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you know, I would prefer to probably bowl now versus what we did earlier. Um, I think the shot would have held up a little bit better because a lot of these players now are pretty much playing the lanes the same. Oh, see, that's what that. I carried yet <laughs> twice yesterday, just like just that. In time. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely. But mine was the reverse way. <laughs> it went 10 6 3, and then wow. one was 6 10 3. I'm like, oh, wow. that's interesting. Nice. <laughs> uh, now I've seen it all. I believe that's Justin Hume. Is that who that is? Or is that. <laughs> who is that? Uh, no, that's. No, that's Corey, huh? Corey Ledet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't know why I keep thinking his name's Justin. <laughs> I bowl with him all the time. I'm like, huh. Maybe that's his middle name. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Here's Kelso. His six frame and coming off two spares. All right. He gets it to go. Hmm. So all of these guys are in. No. Because JJ's in the senior division. Corey yep. and Chris are in the uh, um, open. Scott Myers continuing the strike over here on one and two. So he's got seven in a row. What did we have for that one? Uh, I don't even remember. Neither do I. <laughs> I just remember uh, the double-double and the triple-double. After that, you need 12 in a row. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, that's a long way to go back to go watch a video. So, uh, yeah, oops. I think we're good. <laughs> think we're 12 okay. in a row. That's, you need to string the next six for me to care after that. After six, we're good. If it ain't 12, you're good. All right, JJ looking to get himself after that tremendous strike he just had. Oh, if he had a trip to 2 8 10. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of seen that a lot today. Go Tricky. high and then push it right. Ooh, Kelto with a wrap ten. So what kind of are they? S What's that? I'm wondering what they're skipping to. I know they're going to go probably to the fresh pair, but I don't know if it's just, just move to this right to get a fresh pair or what. Yeah, that's a good question. We'll We've got a two count over here by Stellick. <laughs> he did two counter. <laughs> nice. On I, that's one. the third one I've seen today. <laughs> really? Yes, third one I've seen today. Nah, I wasn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I threw a couple shots, I'm like, ooh. No. Yeah, that would not be a split. That's just, why did I throw that shot? <laughs> Absolutely. And you try to get it out of the way as quickly as possible so nobody sees you or climbs you. Look, the whole building's looking over this two count. Yeah. And that was very easy to do if you missed the back part. Hey, great right. <laughs> He's got a two spare. <laughs> yes, he does. Nothing's better than a one I think, spare. I think Brian went back to your thing. Uh, I look like it. Scott Myers, he's going to be up on two here. Yeah, it looks like he did. He switched it back. All right, Myers up on two, looking to find eight in a row. Likes it. A little light. Yeah. Right. The string win ends at seven. Oh. The big not, E, the big urn. Not sure how much longer I'm going to hang out. My knee is <laughs> killing me today. <laughs> uh, Still got to use it to drive over. I got the other foot for that. <laughs> It's just when it's in the bent position for a while, that's when it starts to hurt. So. Uh, yes, you as well. <laughs> Have a good day. Or afternoon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sometime a day. Scott Myers takes care of a spare. There you go. Maloney. He's got a double and a spare. We're in the ninth here. Looking to get the 63. Nice. Two. Two tripper. Douglas is putting together a solid game. Back door four. <laughs> For Stilic. Let's see. Gallegos shoes and a six. Well, he slowed down on the back side, so he's. Shoot 230, 240. Solid start. Oof. Oh, stone eight. Brian looking to take care of his spare. He does do that. Brandon is looking strong. <laughs> Every time we look up, he's shooting 2.4. Only time we looked up and he didn't shoot 2.4, he shot 2.79. Yeah, he took me out about 20 brackets that I was in. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have shot 2.80. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. But the high game of the, the high game of the day was shot by Kelly Zapp. Yeah, she shot 2.90 on uh, game one. Yep. Yeah, she did, yeah. So take that, yeah. fellas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kelly bowled well. I'm telling you, these women can bowl. Yes. Except for the one sitting beside us. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. 
<laughs> there we go. Good shot there by. No. <laughs> We don't talk trash, young, and we state facts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Stevie does face 225. Okay, 220 for Stevie. Uh, Maloney's looking 191. at 191. Ooh, ouch, the way he started. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brandon Knowles is in the 240s. Maloney's in the seniors. Who else is senior? Uh, uh, Myers. Stella. Yes. Stella can shoot 215. He's in the 20s as we speak. I'm sorry, 190s. Noel shoots 248. Yes. Myers can punch for 260. That's why threw it in the gutter. No, <laughs> pin removal. <laughs> There's a lot of that today. I was just like, wow. You got 228 on the board. You decide, oh, you know what? And throw this one out the window. Stella, even with that two count, he's going to get himself 215, 225 at me. Or 215. 215, yeah. It almost seems like he gained pins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah, that's uh, fair. It that's almost actually looked huge. like it, but he actually lost pins. So. <laughs> There's Myers. Man. Ooh. He's already in the 240s. Brian can finish at 228. Or 68 would be huge. Oh, oh, tried it. Didn't get it. <laughs> Went to the well one too many times. So oh. Myers is going to be in the 250s. Picks us up as 258. Misses it 257. So that's a pretty strong start there. I'm trying to think of what I might be looking for for dinner tonight. <laughs> uh, looks like Kelts over here. Shoot 190? Yep. That's my horse, and my horse is faltering. Yeah. Brandon's pretty solid, so Lucia's pretty good there. Guy goes. Okay, Lundy's coming down to one and two. He's bringing Nathan with him. Let's see who else is coming this way. So they are using St. Pairs, so no clean pair. Oh, okay. So the clean pair is going to be for the next round. Interesting. Four and five, or five and six. Four and five, yeah. Four and five. That'd be interesting. Why not? They do it on tour. That's true. 
I don't know if I agree with that, but I mean, whatever they, I don't know what the purpose of that is being, but. I guess so, yeah, that's a, that's, I don't get it either. It would just be weird, because when you go to slide, you're used to seeing the big one. Yep. And you just don't have it there. Yep. But, yeah, whatever works. I must be having a bathroom break. So, it looks like we're going to have the ladies come over here. No, they can't start yet. They still got to bowl another game here. They're just moving around. Moving around, moving around. They did get quiet. <laughs> Mr. Lundy's over here. He's on his way down. Roger I swear, this guy gets Wayland. me every time <laughs> I'm in a comparable situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is coming to this pair? Who are we missing? Oh, no. They uh, oh, Kelso. Um, who's with Kelso? Johnson. Yep. Um, Corey. Um, Dwayne Mellinger's coming down. He's going to be on five and six. six. Nope. Yeah, yeah, he is five six. Well, so they only have two in their pair. Who was that? Melinger finished two seventy seven. Two seventy seven. Nice. He thought the two fifty eight, but Myers was huge. <laughs> and that's why this. Format works a little bit better because if David Bowen head to head, you should put 258 on the board. You expect, eh, I got a decent chance of winning there. Ah, now you got smoked by 19. <laughs> we've lost our we've um <laughs> lost our five six people we've lost just about everybody <laughs> <laughs> i think they're on strike I don't like, know what is going on here we've got one pair going that is the end pair I'm still kind of curious as to what the skip procedure was, but. Well, where did, uh, well. So one and Maloney, two. Uh, they just skipped, skipped a pair of youth. Because five and six went down to 13, 14. Okay, okay. And Wayne and them came from one and two, and they went to nine and 10. So just skipping a pair. Or seventh in there. Dante strikes on two. Good spare there. Wayne coming off the 277. I'll go out and let me say he strikes first ball here. Remember, that was my other dark horse when you took Stella. Yeah, yeah. I told you, you can't count the Wayne out. <laughs> yep, yep, I know better. <laughs> One thing about <laughs> Dwayne is he's probably had those pair of shoes. <laughs> no doubts about it. For at least 30 years. 
that dude's got his money's worth out of those shoes three uh, times over. Uh, yeah, those are some old school classic lens. I don't think it can make a pair of shoes that would last that long anymore. No, nobody, nobody can touch the lens. Yeah, not, not the original lens. That's no. just those things. Those things were just built, <laughs> built for bowling. Put it that way. They are some tanks. Yep. <laughs> that is hilarious. I mean, I've seen them with some, like a Dexter's on the right foot, some other brands on the right foot, but. <laughs> I guess it's a double to start. That boy good. <laughs> uh, slightly. <laughs> slightly. In the field, he's probably the most decorated. Oh, definitely. Hall of Fame, Greater Denver USPC, yep. Royal State USPC. Yep. He's got a title, title or two. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been in this position before. He, uh, when I bowled the New Mexico Open, was it four years ago, five years ago? Okay. He was out there. That was the year he won it as well, too. So, um, <laughs> It was my first uh, New Mexico Open that I bowled, so awesome. yeah, I might go back this year, but it just kind of depends. Got you. So, a little short there. Dante starting off with the front three. Start throwing pencils at the spectators in front of us, <laughs> and blocking our view. Slow or slow? How about Scott Myers? Ooh, speaking of slow, where is he at? Uh, that's a good question. Um, because I think ABT was at a uh, was at Cole Creek, so he probably pulled that uh, close nearby. So disappointed. Sometimes you don't want to drive. Okay, I'll give you that. But still, so disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Wayne sipping two count again. He ain't gonna two count. Ooh, he, wow. he tripped a four. Yeah, if this, if Dwayne, er, if Wayne two counts again, pack it would, up. That would be thoroughly impressive. I don't think. What's the odds of somebody shooting a two count twice well, in a tournament? Yeah, I don't Without know. Without trying. He Ooh. has it? Yeah, but except the first time he went two, and then he went through it again with the second time, so he got two for that break. Oh, go right Correct. back through it? I'm s yeah, yeah, exactly. I've done that before. I've done that with the watch out so many times. I've actually made money off it, too. Oh, they'd, be like, they'd be like, wow, what's some kind of a bad shot? I was like, 10 bucks as I go right back through it. <laughs> Whatever. I'm like, 10 bucks? I'm like, okay. Boom. Give me my 10 bucks. Just like that. Yep. I used to do it. I've gone straight through the 310 before a couple times. 310? Yeah. I don't think I've ever been through that. It's weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't intentional, I'll tell you that. It was one of the few times I hooked at it, and the ball screamed to the board, half board, and then... Um, Left the 310, and so then I was like, oh, I can do that again. And sure, sure enough, <laughs> did it again. There you go. All right, in the open division, your leader is Dante Lundy with plus 55, followed by Brandon Knowles at plus 48, followed by Ron Johnson at plus 35, uh, Nathan Sabato Trujillo at plus 28, uh, Brian Ropian at plus 27. Followed by Stevie Gallegos at plus 25, Corey Ledet at plus 13, and Chris Kelso shot 186. The only guy that didn't shoot 200, uh. my horse. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so the Kirk cut is plus 28. Yeah, that's not good. He's going to yeah. need a massive game here. Yeah, so in the senior division, you got um, Dwayne Mellinger plus 77, followed by Scott Myers at plus 58, followed by Roger Waller. 
at plus 31. Wayne Stellick at plus 15. John Johnson at plus 8. And Kevin Maloney with a 191. So they're still there. Yeah. Still close. So and your cut is plus 15 for the seniors as well. So, so. JJ's only 7 back. Yep. And Kevin is... 9, 24 back. I'm going to take 4. Okay. Uh, and again, we don't have the women's because they will be joining us after this game here. And Brian Ropkin in the open division is 1 back. 2 back is Gallegos. Mm. There. That's going to be close. Yep. Going to be close. And Dante started off with the front 4. Looking for the front five. Make it five. He's making sure he's not going home. Huh. Nice pair there by Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne tried to do it again. <laughs> it actually picked up, though. <laughs> oh, Stellick. <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> Nathan is... He's the number. Yeah, Mason's the number 28. And he started off. Let's see. As soon as our graphic gets off the screen. So Nathan started with a double open spare. Oh. Oof. He's looking yeah, for a two count. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Tool? Uh, I did leave the 1-5 uh, earlier today. Uh, there we got a 1-2-7-8. As a matter of fact, it was on five and six when I left in the first game. One, two, oh, one, two, seven, five. You're right. One, one two, two five. five, seven. There we go. Hey, it's such a crazy leave. <laughs> I couldn't get my numbers right. Now, that would have been awesome if you left the eight with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Catches a penalty. Get six, three there. Nathan's struggling a little bit. And he is, again, the number. Rogers in the uh, seniors? Yes. Yeah. He's got a 15 pin uh, cushion. cushion. Uh, where's he at, anyway? Rogers in on one. Uh, see, I can't even see. So. <laughs> Out here comes a little light. <laughs> Leave just a Dante is on fire. Roger just giving the screen, crosses over six pin. Get the spare there. There he goes. Let's see what he's going down. Took a strike there. So it looks like, what are we at there? So Stella's got 87 and a fifth. Working on a strike. Brandon Knowles is working on a double as well as Scott Myers. Ooh. That's a light there, leads to 210. It was a common leave today. 210? Yeah. That's never good. If you have to pick up two tens for a living, you're not bowling very well, I can tell you that. Yeah. The only thing that makes it more painful is when you leave the eight with it. Speaking of that, did you see that uh, Japanese player, Soto, during qualifying for the Shark Championship? Ooh. Nice conversion. Yeah. He uh, he left the two eight ten, converted it, 
the very next shot on that lane, so it would be with the other shot. So he went 2 a 10 convert, probably strike, 2 a 10 again, picked it up again. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, back-to-back 2 a 10 conversions. Oh, wow. It was pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And almost identically the same way, so it was wow. crazy, yeah. That's extremely hard to do. Yes. Your odds are not high that you're picking up 2-8-10 twice. Especially almost back-to-back. -back. I would say it was, but it was on the same lane, so. Right, here we got Knowles looking for a double-double. He's got a nice cushion to work with. Uh, sort of. Seven pins. Got that. And Scott Myers. Second after the first game. Wow, a 3-6 carry by Stelic. I'm telling you, that is like the theme <laughs> of the weekend. The three six carry going high, thinking you're leaving anything, and then it trips out for a strike. Love it. Mr. Lundy. Scott Myers gets a strike. So Lundy's got the front seven. You're going to see him on one here in just a moment. <laughs> double, double, double. What's wrong with her? Nice. Double, 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 couple, couple, couple. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you people? <laughs> Roger, you get the I strike like there. it. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> double, double, double. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Comes a little light there on five. Little light, little light. All right, Ron Johnson's working on his strike here. Ron Mellinger pretty much within one pin. Both working on strikes. So, uh, so Mount just coming off that 77. He's not going to get to 277 this time. No, he needs a few more strikes for this one. All right, Mr. Lundy. Ninth frame. This is that's Lucius friend. They've known each other since she was in the sandbox. <laughs> so they're playing the sandbox together. <laughs> nice. You were youth adult partners? Really? Okay. Why does she keep giving you the eye? Who? Your lovely no, wife. she's giving it to Lucius. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oof, I'm feeling it. I know. That's, that's <laughs> I'm like, whatever you did, <laughs> I do not want to be going home with you. Did you figure out what you're having for dinner? I know what I'm having. No, not yet. Sushi is on, on the table today. It's too far to go. I'm going to go to one place for that. Oh, we got this place up north. They got sushi's good. And then there's a different place that has um, lobster fried rice. Interesting. I bet that's good. In, oh, yes. Yeah. No doubts about it. <laughs> no doubts about it. But you can only eat it like every once in a while, yeah, because yeah. that's not something you can. No. Yeah. <laughs> and you get it with the spicy mayo. Can't be touched. Should not be touched. I don't like the fact she just gave me the eye either. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you like lobster rolls? Yeah. I oh, like I love me a lobster roll. Some of those. What's this place called? I forget what the place. I'll find out. I'll text it to you. But this lobster fried rice is incredible. 
Alright, Mr. Lundy. He is going to be on one. You're going to see him on the corner. We will have somebody filming it as well. Why we will would we want to do that? <laughs> we got a big crowd in front of us right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah in front of me. Hey, Hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Just messing. That's this guy right here. You're fine. <laughs> No, I, so we're just messing with you. <laughs> Wait, oh, see, you made his uh, man. Now he's he's, he's not, not hoagie happy. though. This one's hoagie over here. Huh? Got the first one. Huh? I bet you the shot changes for next year. Well, he's yeah. actually coming off a pretty good week. I believe he just shot. He says like his thirteenth eight hundred. Dante? Yeah. Really? And like his 20th, 300 or something like that. So. Looks like he's going to add to the collection. Maybe. <laughs> it got mighty quiet in here. Didn't you just shoot a 300 the other day? I did. You can do shoot 300s, huh? Okay. <laughs> and that was for one game, right? That was. <laughs> that absolutely was. Uh, so, that's well, great. Congrats on that. That's excellent. <laughs> How many does that make for you now? You, you say more than five, five, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa! Woo! Wee! How about that messenger? All right, here we go. I think we know who's gonna who's advancing. <laughs> no doubts about that. Maybe. <laughs> you never know. Okay, <laughs> here we go. And ooh. Oh. Oh. How do we go from ooh to ah? Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> he sends a messenger over there. It misses. And then still gets it as it laying in the gutter. Yeah, incredible. That is awesome. Well, we will post that for you here momentarily. Yes. <laughs> so Dante Lundy will be moving on. No doubts about that. That's awesome. I wasn't sure if we were going to see one this weekend or not. Right, <laughs> the way that was, we weren't uh, going to. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's yeah. <laughs> that's classy. <laughs> so Dante has a total of 155 for two game total. So I am going to assume he's going to be your number one seed for the round of four. Uh, yeah. If you don't move on in 150 over for two, well, I mean, that scoring pace is way too high. Well, you, well, your next guy, even if he shot 300, he's still the same amount of pins behind him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Because after that, you got Ron Johnson at 35 over, and then... You know, it's just one of those things. So it's yeah. pretty good. No doubts about that. He is. <laughs> that was awesome. It was nice. Uh, Nathan. Get the 210. Where was he sitting? Uh, he was the number. He was the number 210, so he's going to raise that up. Let's see here. That's going to be plus 155. I don't know what. Maloney. Kevin. 
Oh, he's just moving on. Everybody seems to be depressed. <laughs> just depressed. It's on the back of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Because there. during that day, I was like, Trevor, it's Trevor. And I was like, it's Trevor. And then I'm like, and that's how I stayed. I'm just like, oh, man. I, was, I think I finished out with, what, Michelle Schaefer's grandson? <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't know why, but it <laughs> but I was just I ends in the Schaefer. That's all we know. <laughs> all right, Mellinger. Woo! He can get to two twenty four. I still haven't li lived that down yet. It's crazy. Let's see. Miller's going to shoot 220, so that gets him at 101 over, maybe. Okay, that's actually 98 over. 222. Is yep. So he should be in. Yeah, puts him at plus 98 for Millinder. Not sure what Scott did down there. Was the senior on this pair did? <laughs> Two nine one sixty six. Who else was with Lundy? Nathan and um, Roger Waller. Gotcha. And Roger shot one sixty, so that's going to drop him out, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, he loses thirty four, so that puts him at minus three. Ooh. He was the number, right? Uh, negative. Or he was third. Yeah, he was third. Stellick was number at 15, so. As long as Stellick did here, he can go blazing around him. <laughs> Mr. Maloney has his shoes off, though. What did he do? He also has his shoes off. You're a dead horse. I'm going to beat you like one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you should have oiled the lanes. <laughs> you should have oiled the lanes. <laughs> I'm sure you would have. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you're giving him crap. All right, so we're. Just about done here. You are watching Ron Johnson the third finish up. He can shoot 225. Um, that'll move him up to plus 60. I'm not sure what the number is looking like at the moment. We don't have scores from down yonder. JJ still has his shoes on. So he moved himself into the number. Johnson finishes at so that's 223, so that puts him at plus 58. Let's see, Nathan shot 209, so that puts him at plus 36. I should just put that right there. Plus 36. We don't know what Brandon shot, do we? No, on okay. top we do not. I can't see him shooting anything lower than whatever it was, but let's see. We're waiting he on. Didn't shoot. Where was he at? He was at uh Brandon plus was 48? second, yeah. He was 48 over, so. So he would have to shoot. <laughs> you well, Brian guy. As, the, as it looks, the number with what we got is plus 36, so. So it's. If if Brian shot 09, he goes around. 
No. He needs 10. 210. Yeah. Oh. Yep, 210. Gets him there. Yep. Millinder shot 222. I said that. That's my plus 98. Runner was minus 3. Not sure what Stillick or anybody else did. Meyer shoot. What'd you shoot? What'd you shoot? Oh, thanks. Good talk. Well. <laughs> Went out. Well, so unofficially, we have Dwayne Mellinger, Scott Myers, Wayne Stalk, and John Johnson. I don't know if I trust our uh, our. We're about to find out. <laughs> then. Uh, I mean, it's not very good when you say, hey, what'd you shoot? I don't know, 480-something. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> then we have Lundy for sure. He's in. No doubts about that. And I'm going to assume Brandon Knowles is going to be in, too. So, Brendan Knowles is your leader, or no? Dante is your leader. Uh, Brendan Knowles, 494. 458 for Ron Johnson, and 437, Nathan Sabato. So, those are your four. And then, senior wise, Dwayne, Scott, JJ, and Wayne. The ladies will join in on this round as yes. well. So our four ladies will be added in, which are Core Compliment, Rachel Ray, Kelly Zapp, Emily Akaw. And they will do a two-game total, I believe, as well. Cut yes. to the top two. And then well, how's that How's that going to work out? Still two-game total, or is it just a one-game match when you hit top two? That's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. A very, very good question. Yes. So, actually, what I would have done with this round, I mean, I get it to cut again, but we took the top four and, and everyone, we both two games, and whoever's the top, number one, two, three, and four. I mean, I get the cut portion. Yep, yep, yep. There's yeah, two different ways to look at it. Oh, yeah, there is. Just like um, when you had the six, I cut the three, and those three are going to determine one, two, three. Yeah. 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 Anyway, well, I'm going to take a quick break and wait for everybody else to come on in. So we'll be right back.
results from that round. Senior division in sixth place, Kevin Maloney. In a tie fifth and sixth, actually, with Roger Wallace. Thanks, guys, for bowling. And then fifth through eighth place in the open division, Chris Kelso. Corey Lynn. Brian Ruffin and Stevie Gay. All right, advancing in the senior division, Wayne Mellinger, Scott Myers, John Johnson, and Wayne Stelling. Then in the open division, Dante Lundy, Brandon Knowles, Ron Johnson, and Nathan Sabato Trujillo. Give us a few here, guys, and we'll give it. Good luck, John. Thank you. You too. Okay. Actually, all the guys and gals that are still left, guys and gals, head on down to that uh, tournament check-in room. What are you in that? Uh, the rest.
All right, we are back real quick for an update. We are getting a third camera set up for the ladies down there on 11 and 12, I believe. So bear with us. Um, we will continue to show what we've got at the moment. So we'll be right back. All right, so we are kind of back. They are at their two-minute warning for practice. So for the ladies, we're going to have Emily Eckhoff, Kelly Zapp,
Cora Compliment and Rachel Ray. I do believe these ladies are going to whack it today. Going to give each other the business. Okay, so on our first camera, we are going to have Dante Lund Laundry, <laughs> Laundry Lundy, uh, Brandon Knowles. Um, who else we're gonna have over there? Uh, where'd my sheet go? Um, on the seniors, you're going to have yep. Dwayne Mellinger, Scott Myers. Stellick? Wayne Stellick and John Johnson. I yeah, don't know yeah. why I'm drawing <laughs> blanks right now. It's just, just <laughs> is what it is. Absolutely. Um, so you have Ron Johnson as well um, on your first view. So. So seniors be top right, ladies bottom right, and open left. Is that right? Yep. Congratulations to Dante Lundy shooting 300 last round. They're going to bowl two games on the same pair. And we're going to cut the field in half again. Did we figure out what they're doing for the championship? <laughs> no, we well, didn't. We uh, did not. Oh, we'll send them. a runner. <laughs> Stella leaves a 10 pin. Dante. That'd be 13 in a row, right? Yep. 14. <laughs> no, 13. Um, who else is well, over Well, it depends there? on oh. what you did the first Yeah, game. that's true. <laughs> that's true. So Nathan um, Trujillo made it as well, too. So yes. I'm thinking your top four that were already there are still going to stay there. Yeah. I think you have. Yeah, what? Two games for the finals. Oh. Two game totals for the finals. Very interesting. You don't see that very often. <laughs> yes. That's okay, though. Yes, Ham, we did survive the Arctic blast. <laughs> it, our, uh, it wasn't nothing. <laughs> Shook that off like it was nothing. <laughs> I tell you money. what, um, there was a lot of people freaking out over that thing, to tell you the truth. Um, people were freaking out about plumbing issues. Mm -hmm. But what we have to remember is anything that's on an outside wall versus, like, interior walls. So, like, if your bathroom is on the outside wall versus an inside wall, um, your kitchen the same way, you know what I mean? So um, a lot of people are freaking out about that. But it was just real simple. You just open your cupboards, keep everything the same, let them be. So it's actually kind of nice. So if you open cupboards, is the idea then you're getting the warm air coming in there? Correct. Okay. It doesn't freeze up. So. Got it. That was like my sister-in-law. Her kitchen's on an outside wall. Her plumbing is, and she was kind of freaking out. I was like, just turn your water off, <laughs> um, open the valve, and uh, open your, um, what do you call it, cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> Place where you put your dishes. <laughs> I hope you don't put them underneath the sink. Yes, well, yeah. some people might. Uh, well, don't invite <laughs> me for dinner. <laughs> uh, 
JJ. Nice shot there. So they are on fresh again, and I believe they're going to stay on their pairs for these two games. So they're in both two games total pants without moving pairs. Interesting. And the idea, I guess, is to keep what I mean, I, I probably would have rotated. Um, because if you've got a great look on that pair, you're just going to keep wagging it. Yes and no. Uh, Dante used the optimal idle to shoot his 300. So, and he's staying with it and now has a double to start the second game. Yes. So, I wonder if he can go so back to back. a minimum of 14 in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for a three-game total, he would shoot like 855 if he goes back to back. It's pretty impressive. Y yes. <laughs> yeah. 855 on the board is pretty strong. Um, the only bad part is it won't count. <laughs> no. Uh, the 300s will, but the eight will not. <laughs> this guy's a mess. <laughs> Keep walking. You, we don't need enough. We don't need any more distractions. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Brandon starts off with the front three. I think this uh, open division is going to be a little tough. A lot of young kids up, up there. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand what's going on here. Well, poor Johnson is the only one with spares. Everybody else got a strike. Well, Johnson's the young, the old guy out there. <laughs> He's the only one who's able to keep up with the kids. And then they are using the rule one tie all tie. So or one tie. So if the three of them were to shoot three hundred, then they all three would advance. <laughs> well, it's a two-game total though. Well, if you uh, that is true. Okay. But if you had the three games totals. Uh, okay, okay. Forget what I just said. Yeah, I will. Trust me, I will. <laughs> I'm just going to sit over here in my moment. <laughs> uh, falter. <laughs> <laughs> so Brandon has the front three. Dante's looking for a front three. Nathan's looking for a front three. Dante. He's got his. Did we pick him? Anybody uh, pick him? Where is our picks? She made sure to throw the picks away after she lost. I'm sure she did. Let's see. In the open. I got Guy Ghost. He's done. My I had Maloney. Done. He's done. Brandon Knowles is still in. John AJ is still in. Kelto is done. done. Scott Myers is still in. Well, you only got one horse left in this race. Yes, I do. She's got all three. Yeah, she does. <laughs> what the nonsense is that? No idea. It's impressive if she won all three. The trifecta? Went with the elder on that. That's pretty strong. I mean, it is. These two out of the three are probably favorites. But that third is a. It's not a long shot, but. The odds are pretty good. Yeah, I would agree. AJ's got four in a row. And Johnson finally got his strike. Nathan stops at two. Takes care of the spare. You can see the shot, so it's hard to say. We should have put the girls on the big screen. <laughs> Why do you want to put the girls? You want to put the girls on the big screen? Yeah. <laughs> All right, hold your forces there, Chief. I mean, we've already seen all these other guys. This is our first look true. at the ladies, so that's a good point that yeah. you made. I'll give you that. All right. There you go. 
Much better. There you go. Now we can see what's actually going on. Because <clears throat> we can see the gentlemen, but we can't really see the ladies. So, uh, uh, looks like Emily, she went double spare double. Uh, Rachel started off with a uh, turkey and a spare. And, and a, another one. Yeah. And Cora went eight count, eight count, double. And Kelly, ooh, I missed that. I don't know if she started with a double or not. So, handicap is in play, correct? Yes, we got to okay. figure out what those numbers are. Yep. At the top. Oh, yes, we do right there. So, Cora's getting 12, Rachel's getting 14. Oops. There we go. All right, so Brandon fills out for a double double. Dante is going to be looking for a double double. Comes Emily looking for a bird. Ooh. Oof, church. It is Sunday. Let's see here. Ellinger gets a, a bird. Dante goes from Brooklyn. Oh, come on, man. When, when you, when, <laughs> when it's your day, it's your day. I guess. Court comes in a little high, breaks it up, and leaves just a six pin. Johnson looking for a nickel. And Emily's looking, let's see, let's get count here. Speak. Gets nice. three. Johnson gets a nickel. He's looking to move on for sure. Mm -hmm. Brandon's looking for a nickel as well. I'm just going to call it the nickel. Nope. Four Ooh. pin stops that. Yeah. Let's see what Cora does here. Can take care of her spare. Nice. Got it. Kelly's working on a double. Oh, I'm sorry, a strike. So is Rachel Ray. Wayne with a strike there. Johnson seems to be struggling a little bit. Oh, Whoa. Kelly <laughs> collapses a bucket. Oh, wow. <laughs> the, I'm telling you, the pink carry Ooh. was just phenomenal this weekend. Jeez. Where do they get these light pins from? I don't know, Moon. They don't weigh <laughs> anything. <laughs> Ray looks like she tugged it. Yep, just a little bit. Fortunate to leave a three. Oh, Ooh. Dwayne goes through the beak. Big, big, four. big four. Johnson's looking for a double triple. Triple double. Triple double is what That's I said. Double triple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. what is that? So we got a. Big four and a seven ten on the wow. same pair. That's incredible. Now it will be more incredible if they both got picked up. It's possible. It Dante possible. Dante finds a nickel, so there's okay, two there. Wow. Cora gets her single pin spare. So the women are guaranteed a minimum of 500 first? Uh, yes. Uh, minimum 500 for the women. So <coughs> the pay structure is a little different for the women because, unfortunately, there are not a lot of women bowlers that right. bowl. So um, the pay would be the same if they had the same amount of entries. Exactly. It's just all based off entries. Yeah. So and that's why they guaranteed uh, top prizes this weekend. So um, take for granted. There's been a lot of stuff going on in Colorado yes, these last couple of weeks. Most so definitely. Um, you've got the senior women up north. I believe you got something going on in the springs as well. I don't know what, but <clears throat> there's just a lot of bowling for the women today. Um, a lot of women probably just came back oh, from queen. Vegas. Yep, so bowling the, the queens, the senior queens, uh, golden ladies, things yes. like that. So um, Just got another crumbling. Yeah, yeah. So, Not yes, sure if what? in theory – the pay structure are the exact same based on entries. Correct. If they both had the same amount of entries, the pay would be exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, the women's entries were a little lower, so they yep, pay there we go. Th in that realm. So but and yet, minimum, everybody across the board, <laughs> minimum, even if they all showed up with one person in each division, we got a minimum $500. Yep, minimum. So, 
you know, and we try to promote the women's sport in bowling here in Colorado. Absolutely. So good shot, Cora. Yes, um, we want to see more ladies bowl, no matter what. We don't. Your skill level does not matter. Nope. We just want to see the women out here playing. Yeah, actually, we want to see everybody out here. Yeah. I want to see this field be 200, 300 entries next year. Yep. Good job there by Emily. Yeah. Emily, yep. So, Neil Prism does broadcast a lot of the Rocky Mountain Senior and Women's Tour. So, that women's side is slowly getting there. Dante with six in a row. It's triple-double. So, six and 12, 18? 18, yeah. Minimum 18. Yeah. You might, you might get back-to-backers. That would be impressive. I've only seen it. I don't think I've seen back-to-back, -back, but I've seen three, two, three. I've never, see, I've never seen back-to-back -back in person. Yeah, me neither. Especially moving pairs. Yeah. So, but just keep that in mind. The uh, when's the uh, Rocky Mountain start? Uh, August. August. So. Yep. And then we also uh, there's also the Queen. The yep. Two versions of Queens. One in the Springs. One uh, in Denver. Denver. Yep. Um, so there's stuff for women to bowl, and the idea is get more of them to bowl. No matter what. Yeah. Absolutely. There's Emily. I'm not sure if Ron Johnson's throwing everything. That looked like that. That IQ 78. Look like it, but burgundy ish uh, in color. Red. Or red. Yeah, bright red. Yeah. So it's either that or it's a uh, IQ Ruby. Gotcha. Spare by Emily. Nice. All right. So what are you looking at? 178 for Emily. 176. Actually, Kelly's gonna be in a lead. Um, Rachel's not that far behind. Nope. Cora's struggling. She's working on a strike. Right yeah. So she get a double here would be pays a serious her. dividend. Carry. Carry. Ah. Yeah. All right. She bowled well. I bowled with her yesterday. Awesome. Yeah, she bowled well. August, marking my calendar. Awesome. Absolutely. Mark everything down in <laughs> August. <laughs> Even if you're not doing nothing that weekend, you are. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kelly looking for spared in the eighth. Oh, nice. I put her 186. She can shoot 240. Core takes care of the spare. So uh, it could be Kelly, the leader in the clubhouse. Yep. Brandon with a nice shot there. So Johnson doubled up after that 7-10 for a, a bird. That's, that's, a way, that's a nice way to recover after yep, a 7-10. There it is, yeah. Rachel Ray looks like a good shot. Comes in. Nice. Oh, there you go. Very nice. She's, she's got a double going into the 10th. Yep. Rachel Ray is out of Loveland, correct? I believe so, That's yes. Where her home center is, okay. Uh, Emily and Cora, home center is here at Holiday. Ooh. And Kelly, Rabo? I would say yes, but not for sure. Combination Rabo, Holiday-ish? Yeah, yeah, there might be one more in there, but I'm not sure. But Rabo Day? Sure. <laughs> 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 I like it. <laughs> uh, here's Dante. Looking for seven in a row. The Magnificent Seven. Where's hey. Dante Bolado? Oh, so he is on yeah, a holiday. He's, he's a holiday, yeah. Uh, Brandon Knowles? Uh, probably Old Rocky Mountain. Oh, uh, Westminster? Yep. Oh, comes in high for seven in a row. Wow. <laughs> it's your day, it's your day. Nathan bowls a lot of ABT. I don't know what center he's on. Huh? Ron Johnson? I want to say Arapaho. Maybe Monaco as well. Uh, Stella got it here. Yep. Uh, Scott Myers? I think he's everywhere. Yes, he's so, a traveler. Yeah. Dwayne? Uh, probably everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, I don't think they have set center. So. And who's their fourth over there? Oh, mm -hmm. JJ. I don't uh, know where he's at. Mm, I wonder if it's Greeley. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, actually, you know what? It is Greeley, as a no. matter of fact. You know, it's not. It's Centennial. They bowled League Ooh. of Centennial this year. Oh, yeah, that's true. Huh? So Centennial in here. No, I don't say. Or Centennial and Centennial. Centennial so Greeley. Far up north. Well, yeah, because he lives in Johnstown. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he's Greeley and Centennial. Correct. I, I mean, was trying to. If you live closer to here, I'm sure he bowled here all the yeah. time. I was trying to be funny and it backfired. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lundy is looking for. Right, right, picks her stuff. Double, double, double? Double. double. <laughs> double Nathan double. bowls a holiday also. Brandon bowls a holiday. Everybody <laughs> everybody's here. All right, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't bowl at holiday? Let's, let's ask that question. Uh, exactly. <laughs> It'd be a shorter list. <laughs> All right, Kelly, she's looking for a double here. All right, so Emily finished out with nice. 217, puts her at plus 17. Cool. Cora finishes at 175, so she's minus 25. Rachel Ray is holding strong. Comes in a little high there, leaves a four pin. So she shoots 228 with her handicap. So she's plus 28, so. so. That's her leader right now. Yeah. Kelly can get her, though. Or no, Kelly's going to come up a little short. Dante. No, she just strike there. She uh, Dante came in high. Yeah. So this string ends at 19. Nice. Pretty impressive. Kelly, Kelly goes high. high. Yep. Well, Kelly could have taken it. Yep, Kelly's she did. Over, yeah. Uh, spare there, 35. So we got a 35, 28, 17, and yeah, minus 25. 25 yep. I don't know about you, but Cora's been bowling pretty good yes. lately. A lot of tournaments she's been bowling. She's proven that she can get there. Yes. So no doubts you know, about it. Just do time, no Cora. Shame. Do time. Yep. Keep and learning. These that she's bowling with are are against her. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Dante spares up there. And the way is no slack. Kelly Zap is putting up numbers everywhere too. Yep. Well, Dante London's got 803 on the wall over there. Just he's got that. a few nights. His name's up there a few times. So he got 300, 803. Uh, let's see here. Where is he at? Oh, yeah, he's another 800 down there, 820. Yeah. Another 300. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, like I was saying, he just came off of like an 8-something <laughs> and a 300 a week or so ago. So Gotcha. Brandon. Okay. Cora. Start game two with a strike. There you go. It's not out of it. No. So it looks like over here you got John Johnson in the lead at plus 63. Oh, I'm sorry, 53, followed by Myers at 26 over, followed by Dwayne at 95. Uh, that's minus five, I'm sorry. And then Wayne at minus 32. So Wayne's got some work to do. Yep. Dwayne's, he's got a little bit of a mountain to climb. Okay. There goes Rachel. Nice. Strikes as well. It's looking like strikes for everybody around there. Well, you get a strike. You <laughs> get a strike. <laughs> you get a strike. All right, Stalic. Ooh. Oh. That turned out pretty good. So Dante seems to have lost the lane a little bit, so. Yes. He did escape with only <laughs> with an eight count. Scott Myers leaves a four pin. Right there. So the ladies are throwing strikes at each other, so. <laughs> they are. It's going to be the first one to crack. Looks pretty good. Ooh. Great shot by Cora. Dwayne with a 
almost right there. So the open division, uh, they are they are about a f two frames behind everybody else. <laughs> it's just the way the open division yeah. goes. Uh, the women fly. They just yeah. keep going. Seniors are about the same way. <laughs> nice shot there by a JJ. Rachel Ray looking to double up. Brooklyn. Maybe. Okay. <coughs> three pin. Well, looks like it. Is there a three or yeah, hard to tell. They are a mile away from where we're at. Spare there for Kelly. Still up with a strike. So Brandon's looking to fill the tenth for two seventy ish. Jeez. Be curious what his low game of the day was. Two eighteen. Be the two two fifties, two sixties maybe. So Brandon started the day off with two eighteen and went forty six seventy nine. Then he shot another. Uh, the fourth one, but then he goes 248 there. He does nine count there in the tenth. Cora finds three in a row. She's the only one striking down there now. She's, she's going to need to keep going. Give herself a chance. Yep. JJ's still striking. Dwayne's working on a double. JJ's on a double. Um, looks like Myers is working a couple of spares. Yep. Oh, Myers comes in light. There's right to Ray. And she got him. Yep. I wonder if she's a good cook. <laughs> Things that cross your mind. I'm not going to cook. Yeah, I would wonder the same thing, too, because when I first met her, I'm like, I was like, that Rachel name Ray. sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm like, no. So then I went wandering around looking for Rachel Ray, because I'm thinking Rachel Ray, you know. <laughs> then I watched her bowl, and I'm like, wow, she does the ball pretty good, so. I'm sure she hears that all the time. Uh, can you cook? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Because <laughs> I'd get tired of it, you know what I mean? No no relation. I'm a horrible, you know. <laughs> she I can't bowl and I can't cook. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there for Kelly. All right, Lundy's back on the strike string again. Nice. Or just striking. take a little break. On the tenth, so Brandon shoots two fifty eight. Uh, got a nice big pole right here in front of me. Yes, happens to be blue. Too bad it wasn't a see through. That would be interesting. They made a clear pole. Today. Uh, well, yeah, that would be cool, huh? <laughs> Cora? Nope. Oh, All right. All right. So she's got three and a nine counter. Uh, the open division is still trying to finish up game one. What is their problem today? We had 258 for Brandon, 181 for Ron. There are a lot of strikes thrown by those kids. And they're yeah. still by. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dante can finish at 265. Is it possible that they are concentrating? Yeah, I was going to use that word. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan or gets a seven count there. I'm just, yeah, it's hard to say. She might eat bowling pins for breakfast. <laughs> Dante looks at a ball change for 264. Okay, it's in a comfortable spot. So as it looks like, you got Brandon and Dante in the, are in the lead right now for their division. And they're going to be at least 50 above. Nathan, uh, can't 51. He ends up at 99. What is uh, what did Johnson's through? Our 59. 
nine and 65 for them. Johnson. No, not John Johnson. Oh, he <laughs> shot 181. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go on out on a small limb and say it's gonna take a <laughs> lot to catch those two youngsters. <laughs> yes, they're putting up some serious strikes. Yeah. The only thing they can do is if they start really messing themselves up. I don't think it's it's gonna be hard for the other two to catch them with that type of a lead. Yeah, you have to give a lot of that back. Yep. All right, Cora unfortunately missed her seven pin after three in a row and looks like she washed out. Emily goes up. She's running the strike. She does. All right, Cora, let's pick this up. Rachel had an open. Yeah, I believe she missed a four pin, maybe a two pin. Remember what was up. Four with another open. She got to count as usual. <laughs> uh. All right, Johnson is stringing him again. He is on the double double working for a nickel. John Johnson. And there's Kelly. Flat 10. Okay, Rachel Ray on 11. Brandon does start off with a 2 8 10. Okay, Rachel finally does another strike. Gets two. Johnson takes care of his spare. Oh, that's a bad break from Cora. That is not good after starting three in a row. She goes nine miss, wash out, and then four, uh, I'm sorry, six, seven. And then it doubles up. Dante comes in high. Three, six, ten. With a friend, so three six nine ten. Stellick trips out a bunch of stuff on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much, you just call it a bunch of stuff. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything specific over there. Get <laughs> uh, spared by Dante. Kelly zap up. Okay, she strikes, doubles up. Rachel Way is looking to double up. And she was down, right? Um, yeah. No, she was she was second. Gotcha. Behind uh, Kelly. Roll it. Is it eight ten? Come on, Cora. A little light there. Her ball reaction just kind of gotten funky. No. There's a little bit of a bucket action. Well, that didn't look right by Rachel, but she's still covered. Yeah, she's. Yeah, it looks she weird. shoots her spares that way. It's, oh, it's something that's oh, interesting. always caught my eye, and I'm like, I want to fix it. Yeah. I mean, she's making them, so you don't want to tweak yeah. it too much, but. Well, her just her whole approach just looked weird. Yeah. I don't know. It looks so different from a strike ball. It does. All right, still it find the double. Uh, yeah, Scotty Myers looking to find a double double over there. Still it find the turkey. I'm sorry, a bird. Emily, Emily looking for a bird. Yes. yes. Trip four is always a bowler's best friend. Myers with a ring 10. Johnson with a strike. So Brandon bounced back after he had that open. He strikes in the second. Tuck that one. 
One, three, I wonder eight? if the pace for him is a little fast for the ladies. I think so. Because they're just boom, 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 boom. So. Apparently Kelly likes it. She's home when she shoots her spare. She doesn't bend as far down. Yeah. Gets her two there. Reminds me of like the shots we throw when we're done and we're like, yeah, whatever, you don't throw, <laughs> you don't throw it. <laughs> Looks like a better shot for Cora. Okay. Yeah, okay. There we go. JJ wants to advance. <laughs> She got it. <laughs> she did. So I hate to say it, but it looks like your final is for the ladies is going to be Kelly and, and Emily. Emily, yeah. Really? Get up there. It's a little short. One, two, four. And kudos to them. They're bowling well. Yes. Maybe a little bit of mental fatigue on the lady side. I get, yeah, or I get in this position a few times to understand what I need to do to yeah. be successful. Being, they're trying to pressure every shot or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Emily's been there, done that. Yeah. Um, Kelly as well. Yeah. So this is learning and growing, growing and learning. Yep. Kudos to them. Find the double shot. She can get the fourteen. Emily right, leaves two pin. All right, so afraid to bounce back. Two eight for Emily. Better. A little bit of a ball change. Seems to have a little bit more on the back end. I mean, six ten. <sighs> Emily converts her two eight. <laughs> Clockwork. Spare there. Seniors are just whacking it with each other. <laughs> Those guys, man. Yeah, nobody right. wants to go home. Well, I guess not. We got Mr. Hartman still in the building. Good shot by Kelly. Not to get off subject, but I was kind of thinking of a burrito for dinner, but <laughs> unfortunately all the good places are closed, and I really don't feel like going to sit in a restaurant. Nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shot there for JJ. And Taco Bell is not even a thought. <laughs> uh, what kind of burrito? Probably just a regular little bean and cheese, you know, a well, little red chili or well. green chili. Santiago. Oh. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. What do you what, right there for? What do you like? I ain't eat no bean and that. I don't eat beans, so there you go. No, I don't eat beef. No, I would uh, chicken burrito. Yes, they are. 
Chicken enchilada. <laughs> Cora leaves the sixth in. It's amazing how much, what kind of stuff we can argue about, ain't it? <laughs> There's no argument. She's got a bad taste bud. Bad? Listen, have, you heard, have you heard yourself yet? No, no beans, no beef, I, no nothing. Everything I've showed her to eat has been great. Correct? Yes. See, show me. Okay, okay, okay. There's little, there's little, there's little, um, little cheat codes of places. Varieties. Because if you go to, there's a cheat code for everybody in America. No. So, you go to 7-Eleven. If you like sweet tea, go to 7-Eleven. Their own brand of sweet tea. Unbeatable. Better than McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? Smoke. Smoke. Really? It is good. I'm going to have really to try good. it because I've never really had good. a sweet tea from a... Their marble cake is good? And you mix it with the sweet tea? <laughs> yeah, diabetes right away, right? Yeah. I'm done. Just, there you go. What? You, you, you just order the El Burrito there at the bowling alley. Nah, that's <laughs> too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will. So Cora finishes 191-203. Nice. She should be proud. Everybody's proud of her. She folded well. I'm proud of all the ladies. That, that is true, too. Absolutely. Um, Emily's in at 230. She shot 447 for her, too. Cora, Cora shot 378, I believe. Um, and Kelly's already over the top of the 378. Yeah. Uh, Rachel can probably, I think that's a, she can shoot 404, I believe. So it looks like for the ladies, you're going to have Kelly, Kelly as your leader. At, what is that, 20 or 50? I can't see. For who? For uh, Kelly. For? Yeah, I, I can't tell. That's a two or a five. But either way. <laughs> it's um, enough. Yeah. Actually, Rachel's going to shoot like 214. I'm sorry. I mean, 414, I'm sorry. So she will finish in third. And then if you're ever in Oregon, Burrito Amigos. So I'll make a mental note to that. <laughs> thank you much. Thank you much. Just in case you're ever driving by Oregon and stop in. It's been a while since I've been in the Northwest. <laughs> All right, so for the ladies, congratulations to all the ladies that have bowled and the ladies that have made the top four. Yes. Core compliments going to finish in fourth. Rachel Ray in third. Um, and I believe Kelly is your leader. I believe that's 468 for her, too. And Emily Eckhoff will be second at 447. Our finals are going to be three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Um, for the men. So Wayne, one sixty-eight, two twenty-three, gets some three ninety-one. Scott uh, Myers, two twenty-six, two eighteen, four forty-four. JJ, two fifty-three, two sixteen, four sixty-nine, and Wayne, one ninety-five, one ninety-two, three eighty-seven. My horse is still alive. So we have Scott and John. Yep. That is. Kelly's still in. Rachel Ray's out. Cora's out. Rob, you have no horses I in this race. I do not. <laughs> Why, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Probably she's going to have all three. Uh, that is insane. That is crazy. Somebody that doesn't know anything about bowling just picked three people to win. Obviously, I know a lot about bowling. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> All right, so we are waiting on the open division. I'll throw those guys on the big yep. screen. So they are on. They are on. There we go. Yep. They are in their sixth frame. 
310. Who would have funk that <laughs> the kids would be the last? Looks like their scoring pace came way down. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot how to strike. Um, Ron Johnson is starting to string him up. Well, he's can on he, 280 pace. Can you make a run? 280? Oh, is that, it's that might get possible. There. It depends on what the two leaders are doing. So. Well, Dante's gone open, open here. Um, they do have totals up there. I can't really see. Uh, Dante's at 347 right now. Um, Brandon's 369. And Mr. Johnson has turned the He's at 301 already. It's possible. He is running them down. He's going to run. He's just an old man strength. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> well, they, tra they transition the lane. I'm not sure they understand how the transition worked, but. This is incredible. So going into the seventh frame, Brandon's off and open. He's got 111 and a six. Comes in high. Here's a three, nine, ten. Here's Johnson. He gets a strike here and he gets really interesting. Go, go. Get out, get out. Mm. Mm. Couldn't get the ten to fall. <sighs> so he's got a split there. God, he really needed that one. Yeah, I think he had to go at least all the way to the first one on the tenth. Brandon's going to open there. So he's at 378 after seven. Wow. Doesn't get any there. Puts him at 325 in the seventh. I don't know if I agree with that. I would have at least gotten one out of that. Yes. He didn't need it to win. It's definitely not early enough when he left it, so that's one thing I've learned over the years. That was just gigantic. He strikes there, and we've got a different ball game. Oh, easily. I mean, we can still have it because Brandon is on open. Two opens. Dante was on two opens as well, two other strikes. So he's looking to double. Yeah. Nathan's on an open in the sixth. Uh, four pin. Oof. Is a seven pin. Down to the nitty gritty it now. Is. Spare there for Nathan. So he's at 323 with a spare in the seventh. Nante takes you a hit spare. 376, 377 in the seventh. Atomic messenger there. That was a tomahawk. <laughs> yeah. uh, that pen was coming with, <laughs> with some heat. I'm like, take that. <laughs> Johnson's going to need to match. Strike there. So 
So two frames to go. After Nathan makes this shot here. The fortune is just to leave the seven. Yeah. What did Ron at 350 or 330? 354, or, or no, 335, sorry. 330, 340, 390, 380. Well, I think he is done. I think, um, yeah, depends on what these guys do on this next shot. Well, best he can do is get the 90. You're at 338 and 397 already. No, that's showing that you're my horse still in the race. Good spare there. I don't there. give a, You're still my boy. <laughs> 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 that's right. <laughs> then you said he's coming to three and four? I think so. Looks high. Yep. Yeah, Johnson's. I think that split mentally destroyed him on that. Yeah. Jeez, what is that? <laughs> Man, what is going on with this 10 pin, man? This 10 pin Ooh, is being hated yeah, on. Brutalized. <laughs> I'm not even sure where that pin came wow, from. That was assault. <laughs> that thing came from behind and got it. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, it's like what it called cops <laughs> on that. Kelso, you better check every pin that is in your pin setters He's after Noel pulled them. on them. So I'm going to say it's safe to say that Knowles is going to be in. Yes. Let's see what Dante does here. It's almost a given that Dante is, too. Yeah, he but just has to mark. Yep, That's there the best it is. mark you can get. So your top two for the open division is going to be Brandon Knowles versus Dante. And the seniors with Scott Myers and John Johnson. John Johnson. And yep. the ladies, you're going to have Emily Eckhoff and Kelly Zapp. Yes. As soon as these guys finish up their 10th. We will take a quick break, grab some refreshments, maybe a snack, and we will bring you your two-game total finals to determine our champion of the first annual Colorado Open presented by Leave Your Mark Pro Shop. Yes. Holiday Lanes Holiday here in Colorado. Our sponsors. Storm. Storm Bowling. Yep. Products. Brett Cooper. And everybody who came out to bowl and support this inaugural tournament. That's a big word for you. I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see you spell it. <laughs> no, you can't sit there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be laying back. <laughs> You're fine. All right, so good bowling and a great weekend by our yeah weekend yeah, yeah. great yeah Ron Johnson great weekend Nathan this tournament started on Friday yes when, when did you qualify Saturday uh, yesterday morning yeah. yeah I actually signed up for this morning as well too so um, I don't know if I should have bowled this morning or not mm -hmm. I was contemplating it but so talking to Rick when he was talking earlier he, he's thinking about it implementing a rule that you if you make the cut you're done yep can't okay. bowl on sunday makes sense in order to bowl sunday you had to bowl one of the other squads hmm, interesting so run. to bowl sunday yep you would have had to bowl one of the other three but not make it correct okay to re-enter for Sunday. Yes. Okay. Ooh, there's a rare open by Knowles. Not sure I like that. Mm. 
All right, they are finishing up here. Brandon Knowles finishes at 4.58, I believe. 4.56. 4.56, okay. And 4. Ron Johnson finishes at 3.84. Uh, Nathan can finish at 3. 79, uh, 89. So 379. 380, 380, 390. Or no, he just only got one there, so he's done at 380. 380, yeah. And, and Dante, he's up. Covers his spare, so he'll be at a few strikes here at 456. They're going to tie. <laughs> Dante, you're up. Yeah, Dante, you're up. Yeah, Dante's up. 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 Dante's
Chris Miller in the Republican Ladies Division, finishing in third and fourth place. We have Cora Compliment and Rachel Ray. Congratulations to Ray Boy. Sabatos, Trejillo, and Ron Johnson. All right, so for the finals, we're going to have Miss Emily taking on Miss Kelly. Girls, where you got five and six? Okay. In the senior division, we're going to have John Johnson taking on Scotty Myers. And in our open division, we got Dante taking on Brandon. Yeah. You didn't run your seven miles like he did today. All right, competitors, into your lanes. We're going to turn you on for three minutes of practice. We will give you a little minute. Scotty ran like 12 miles today, and now he's going to bowl all these games. Give us a minute, and we'll get that going.
Okay, Mr. Maloney, great bowling. Great bowling. <laughs> All right, so in our senior division, it is John Johnson versus um, Scott Myers on women. They're going to be on five and six. That's Kelly Zapp and Emily Eckhoff. And the open division is on seven and eight. And it's Brandon Knowles and so people have been born great all day. Scott Myers is going to be the first one to throw a ball. Nope. Brandon Knowles beat him to the punch. So. <laughs> Throws a strike there. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, seems a little bit. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Trying to increase the decibels for no reason. <laughs> There's Kelly. And light. So Kelly's pretty much got the lanes to herself because she was the only lefty that was out there. Mm -hmm. So Dante with a strike to start off. So this is a two game total match to determine your champion? Yes. Spare there for Kelly. You like more on easier shots, mediocre shots, or hard shots? Uh, depends on what I'm doing. League, mediocre. Still don't like easy stuff on league. Uh, tournament, I'd prefer to go on a harder side. Not impossible. No. On a harder side. Yeah. Because uh, then now it's going to boil down to who's going to make better shots and stays in a mental game in the right way. Correct. Correct. Uh, versus if it's just, hey, throw the ball to the right, get the spark off of there. That's why I struggle on the house shot. <laughs> um, you start to get, uh, what happens with house shots? I start to get lazy. Yeah, to a point, yeah. You get so lazy that you forget you're still bowling, and then you're like, oh, Dante with a double. There's Emily with a spare. So Dante starts off with a double. Brandon's got a strike. Uh, besides that, those two, <laughs> no one else has struck. <laughs> and those two have been striking a lot all day. Now JJ is joining the strike club. After that whiff. <laughs> yeah, that's my horse. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Oh, Brandon. Gonna regroup. All right, escapes that, leaves just a seven pin. Scott. Wow. <laughs> okay, I figured out what I'm doing for dinner. <laughs> what is that? Going by King Supers, swinging by the meat aisle, we grill it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. And yes, it's taken me all this time to figure that out. Yes. Well, what are you grilling? I don't know, man. I'm going to have to see what the prices are because those things, those steaks are just ridiculously expensive. Let me get some broths. I got some sauerkraut. Uh, oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, that's sauerkraut. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Awesome. Oh, I can't stand it. My mother-in-law likes it. It's like, what are you eating that's causing that stance with that? You know, she's like, oh, I'm just having a hot dog with sauerkraut. <laughs> Let me know when the air clears. Yeah, you, know? uh, you got problems. <laughs> you like sauerkraut? Oh, see you again. You, uh, you like sauerkraut? You like sauerkraut? Yeah, see, you're outnumbered, yeah, son. <laughs> what what is wrong with you people? No, you guys have you guys just taste buds. Oh, he's harsh. 
<laughs> I, I don't care. Yeah. I will, I'm going to find somebody like sauerkraut around here. Well, pick, take your pick. Take your pick. That's Michelle. You are 0 for 4. <laughs> Do you like sauerkraut? Yes. Th there you go. 1 for 4. You're still There's bad. There's one smart one in the group. There's one smart one in the group. There you go. Absolutely. 2 for 4. <laughs> there we go. You're still behind. We're going to turn the tide here. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. And Mellinger's, uh, I don't know if he likes sauerkraut. He's so hard to call. Nice shot there by Emily. He's a ten pin. Does he got a plate full of bacon there? Because if he does, <laughs> that's a nice dinner right there. <laughs> I can't tell what that is. He's he got a bacon. beer. <laughs> He's ordered twelve slices of bacon. Ooh, John Johnson. No, I'm not going. No. Once you've been to the first couple, they're all the same after that for a while. It's just a big pro shop. <laughs> We're talking about going to Boys. Yeah, unfortunately, I'll be out of town that weekend anyway. I will be. The first, it was supposed to come here in COVID. Yes, they were. And then oh, yeah, Boys was here. I was thinking well, we had to go to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I'll take you. To, yeah, I'll take you. Yeah, I'll take you while you're here. I forgot. I forgot that it was here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bowl Expo for 2024, July 2nd. We'll be here in Denver, Colorado, yes. up there by the airport. I think it's called the Glen Hyatt Hotel. Okay. So it's a big hotel up there by the airport. And yeah. it leaves at 610. Wasn't finished with my story. So you can keep yapping. No, I'm just okay. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. Mr. Myers. Yeah, nice shot, shot Myers. There. How are the kids doing over there? Mm. Dante's on three in a row. Uh, uh, he's going to work square. on square there. Okay, there so I three. think Brandon's on three. No, no. No? No, no, that was Dante. So Brandon looks like he went strike, square, strike. Yes. Emily, Emily chops. Oh, the hate that square. I think she was afraid to shoot the, the pin that was in the gutter. She didn't want to hit it. Uh, Scott Myers looking for a double. Oh, he's eating a piece of pizza. Oh, way off the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where he got it from, but he's got a piece of pizza. I'm sure somebody in here has got a pizza. <laughs> I actually thought about that too, but my last pizza experience was not that good. Good shot there by Kelly. Where'd you get it from? Here. Okay. Okay. Just pepperoni, I think is what we got. We had to send it back three times. That's not I, think, good. I think the cook was sleeping. Uh. Nice spray there by Scott. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> he's lying. There you go. No, he's not lying. He's, he's lying. The truth. He's telling the truth. They, he, they think you're lying. What? Ooh. Ugh, oh, he's definitely lying. <laughs> Liver and onions. That's where I draw the line. He's lying. That's, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are killing us. <laughs> Liver and onions. Ooh, can't do it. Good that's like here. old, old school. Yes. All right, here's Emily. Good shot. Oh, comes Ooh. in light. Just too big. Brian, do you like sauerkraut? Do you like sauerkraut? See? There you go. See? Turn in the tables.
I'm going to have to ask you to refrain from that kind of. Yeah, because you are live, my friend. <laughs> live. Good spin here by Emily. <laughs> See the tide turning. You guys just had to. You guys just had your people right here. That's what happened. Was you had your four people, non sauerkraut eaters in a row, and after that, everybody Dude. else on a planet eats it. That guy is still lying. <laughs> Who? Scott Meyer. Yeah. Oh, look at the lane the lover of food. The O rings. All right. Uh, JD takes care of a spare. You're still here? He's been here all day. Yes, he has. That's for prior to the year, right there. That material there. Look at this one. <laughs> No, I'm going to wait for dinner. It looks good, but, yeah, no. Liars. Just throwing the whole kitchen sink at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You got Kelly. She looks like she He's is. having a field day. <laughs> she looks like she might have went, what, strike or spare string? She shot 290 on that pair earlier. She did. Yeah. That's her she pair. She set it up for her for tonight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like nobody touched it. That's true. It's a very good point. So the kids are down there battling at it, it looks like. It's coming in a little light there. 3-9. Three 3-9. Nine. Three nine. So let's see. Looks like Brandon is pushing to 90 pace. Yeah. Dante is pushing 79 pace. Interesting. And this is going to be a two game total. All time favorite, all time favorite bowling ball. Man, I've had a handful of those, Mr. Cummins. <laughs> um, I actually had one back in the day. It was called the Storm Shift. That ball was amazing, as well as the Agent was another great ball back in the day. Um, I didn't see that. That sounds good for dinner. Chicken Alfredo. I missed that, Stacy. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed it. That sounds pretty good. Oh. But didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, so what are what, what, what well, you Well, I'm a little intrigued by Alfredo now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me see. I think my, and I don't have just, actually, if I really had to think about it and say one all-time ball, it would be the IQ Tour. So. Either had to be an IQ Tour or a high road. It is Most the IQ Tour, people. yeah. They're that ball has done me Ooh. wonders. Um, I actually have uh, one of my last of four IQ Tours back in 2015. I had ordered a case back then, and I have drilled three out of the four so far. All right. So you still got one left. Yep. <laughs> Kelly with a big split there. Three, seven, nine. Didn't get two. Lundy breaks up to four, nine. So. To elaborate a little bit more, I actually have four. Okay, so four. let's go four favorite balls of no, all time. No, you said what's your all-time favorite ball. I didn't say well, you know a, a six-pack that, that you're taking with you somewhere. I know a six-pack. I got four. Jeez. So the Storm IQ Tour was the most recent. This is going way back. Back in the day, I had a blue pearl hammer as a junior. That ball. Did me well back in the day. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. The one, original one by Ebonite back in the day. And then on the Brunswick side, these were the four companies that were out back then. Well, five. Um, on the Brunswick, it was called the Combat Zone. 
back in the day. It's green. Yep. Had one of those. Yep, that ball was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, I mean, I don't know. I had one, had that in the danger zone. You know what? I take that back. I forgot about the danger zone. The combat zone. I'll tell the you a little story about the that. The danger ball. zone was the ball that I went back to back, not back to back, back to nights, 300 on it, out of the gates with the danger zone. I got both of them drilled at the same time by the same person. Went and practiced. Uh, picked up the combat zone first. Went to throw it. Stuck my hand. Did, almost hit the ceiling. <laughs> came down and struck. It was the only time that ball ever struck for me. That was the only <laughs> time that ball ever struck for me. That's crazy. It was, it was crazy. Danger zone? No problem. With that ball, I couldn't get to do anything. Must have been a circumference thing because back in the day, <laughs> the balls were never the same size. Uh, I, and that's a proven that's fact. That's why they had those round yeah. things. Um, people would always complain like, oh, no, that's just a myth. That's a myth. I'm like, no, it's not a myth. Back in the day, the bowling balls were different sizes, which was crazy. And they all hit different. They all rolled different. So, Good spare there for Emily. But yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to be the IQ tour. Gotcha. Shot there for JJ. The youngsters are still striking something fierce. Oh, until there. 210. Ham and pineapple. That's a good pizza eater right there. Kelly comes up a little light. 3 6. goes, what should do? Spare, four in a row, open, open, spare. Sit on one, 55, spare and eight. Chicken max at 225. JJ opens in the 10th, 178. Emily can shoot 03, I believe. Scott's got a good opening here. So JJ shoots 170. What's Scott going? Can't see. He's got 170 and the ninth on the spare. Okay. Ooh. Come on an escape. So he escapes the 710 there. Or else this game would have gotten really interesting. <laughs> Emily Light. She's, she's come in light a couple of times in that lane. He's a bucket. Dante takes out a spare. Myers covers his seven. Excited about the Avs. <laughs> so it looks like Dante. Put these graphics off the screen. Let's see this. Shoot 258, and Brandon can shoot 226. That opening knife was huge. Yep. What can Scotty max out for? 09 uh, or 99? 99. 99. Okay, so Scotty's going to have a 20 pin lead going into the last okay. game. It's close. Yeah. If I was these guys, I would wait one more, let these guys finish up so they can start together. That's what I would do. 
We're about to find out. That ain't gonna happen. You don't think so? He's nope, going. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Emily comes in high there. Struggle. I'm not sure what's going on. 210. Should have told him no. Just wait. Everyone's going to have to figure something out. All right, so Emily's going to finish at 165. Um, Kelly could just open a commanding lead here, yes. as well as Dante. Oh, I wouldn't say commanding on Dante, but enough. Yes. <clears throat> JJ floats the eight out. <laughs> okay, Dante is in the 250s. Kelly. Nice shot there, gives her a double. All right now, so Kelly has opened her lead up to 30. <laughs> now nah, my right knee is kind of bothering me today. I'm doing when I get home. Mm -hmm. All right, Donnie, 258 for Dante. So he's going to have at least a 30 pin lead minimum. Mm -hmm. comes in light, 3 9. Spray there puts her at 213. Still a sizable lead. Um, Scott's on the wrong lane. Yes, he is. Russell. Tell him Scott Bulldog. Well, he's about to find out here in a second. No, he's not supposed to. Oh, I did. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Gotta get used to this car. So, this Chris is 1 to 12. So, she's got a 50 pin lead against Emily. I hate to say it, but I don't like Emily's chances at the moment. Not with the look that she has. No. Or that Kelly has. I could see if she starts striking, like, say, to get to that 165 struck out from the eighth frame through. Okay, now you may have something. Yeah. But her look is not very good. All right, let's see what we got here. Ball change and struck there. For a pair of the channel for the kids as well. It's pretty sad to see the kids. <laughs> or maybe it was just a ball change. So Brandon can strike for 216, and that's going to put him down by 42 pins going into game two. Kelly starts off with the split. Brandon gets an eight counts, 214, so 44. So 44 pin 44 lead for back. Dante. 50 pin lead for Kelly. Um, and 20 for Scott. Kelly unfortunately starts off with an open. Gets two. Well, he's got a nice crowd behind her. Starts off with a double. Kelly is a 
flat seven. The only close match right now is going to be John and uh, Scott. It's a two mark difference. Correct. Unless uh, Emily starts off with a five six bagger. Oh, got lucky with that one. He's made up that. He's made up at least ten pins of that. Kelly takes care of her spare. And Scott's gonna have to keep pacing. Scott leaves a flat ten. Weird ten. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll it? No. She's just struggling with lean six for some reason today. Nine counts. Okay, not to use a ten pin. Does take care of the spare. Same with Scott. Spares as well. Brandon throwing his first ball. Okay. I think they call that 10 back. Made up 10 on the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Four five. Speaking of light, uh, Miss Renee is shaking her head right when we let it go. She <laughs> knew it. <laughs> like, nope. Sit, sit down. <laughs> That has got to be the worst, one of the worst breaks. Brutal. A high four, seven, nine. Because <laughs> that could be a nine, that could be a four, that could be a seven. Could, could be, be a, a four, four nine. nine. <laughs> no, get them all at once, why not? Yeah. Brutal. I hate that break. Used to be the seven, ten, but I think it's that one. <laughs> That's the most worst you could ever see, especially when you need it. Care two. Two run. <coughs> JJ's taking his time, very smart move, wants that approach to himself. Good shot by Kelly. Yep. Two strikes, spare, spare for Emily. Kelly, open. Spare strike. JJ sets off with a double double. Double double. Can we end today with another 300? That'd be very impressive. Oh, to come back for that. I mean, granted, he was only down like 20, but. Yeah, but still. That 810 was. That could be heartbreaking. Okay. Dante goes spare strike. Kelly looking for a double. Comes in Ooh. high. Four, six, seven for her. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> he kind of stood out of that like, uh oh. <laughs> All right, Jeff Johnson's got the five. five. Got a nickel. He has he has made up his pins. Yes. And now he's giving himself <laughs> a nice little cushion up against Myers. So an open for Kelly. That gives everybody some hope. Yes. 
Scott's got to start getting finding something here. I'll tell you that. Scott comes in still can't roll the two. Dante doubles up down there. So. Wow. Oh, that that messenger. I'm going to go out on a small limb on the youngster at the open division. I'm going to say this is Dante's. Um, not to put Brandon down, but I think his hole is just way too deep. Yes. Uh, especially with the way Dante's been throwing the ball today. So. Um, just a notable. Brandon Knowles was your 2023 Denver Masters champion. Yes, sir. Very accomplished bowler, so. Emily looking for a double. Got it. And that's how you respond. Yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ellen, uh, Ellen <laughs> <laughs> Emily, uh, she is a two-time collegiate national champion from Hastings College. <laughs> she is. She went back-to-back, -back, I believe, years. She's won the Denver Queens, yeah, won Colorado Springs Queens. Yep. Very accomplished bowler, female bowler as well. Yes. So. Scotty just cannot <laughs> seem to find the pocket all of a sudden. He's got a two eight. He's, yeah, he just, the last three shots have been really light. And he's lost at the wrong time. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's ball speed, lane play. All right, there's a strike okay. there for Kelly. Okay. All right, spare there for Scotty. Brandon, nice shot there. He's going to give it a run. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> it's true, he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> you can go right about that. JJ looking for a double, triple, double. Yeah, <laughs> double, triple, know, double. I don't know why I keep going that route. A double, double, double. <laughs> a triple, double. Look good. He has ran Mr. Myers down. He is throwing the Vivo, the virtual energy blackout. That was my ball of choice for the weekend, too. Just seem to have the best look. So, give you plenty of length in the front, plenty of length in the mids, but not too much, but still had a good response. So, I can't tell what ammo is throwing. It's something colorful. <laughs> it's colorful. Dante. Dante keeps throwing them at him. And John looking for seven and a row. Wow. I think that might have got him the, the victory. Not saying it's over. Where's Chris at? He, I think he was holding up that sweep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a slowly. The old <laughs> yes. famous roller. All right, Scott. He's got to regroup after He's got to strike. Yes. He, he has no choice. If he doesn't strike here, it's pretty much done. 2 8 10. Wow. So he's left every combination of the two pin. The 2 8, yeah. 2 10. Great ball by Scott. Yeah. Let's see, Dante keeps his lead up. So Scott's only hoping to see how to pick this up and need some help. He's going to get a lot of help. And Emily. Oh. What is that, four? No, that's, a oh, that's an eight. eight. Yeah. Oh. Goodness. So sometimes you get the breaks. Sometimes they break you, absolutely. That's brutal. We call that the RP. <laughs> Anybody know what the RP stands for? What's it stand for? Come on. It goes back to when arena bowling was just 
hot back <laughs> in the 90s. The Randy Peterson. Peterson. Ah. <laughs> Strike there for he Brandon. He stoned an eight pin to lose the championship to who was that guy? <laughs> um, I can't ever think of his name. Scott is lose the seven pin. So JJ's taking a victory lap. It's just a matter of is he gonna finish this off or not? Uh, and that is your horse. So you did get one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Scott takes care of the spare. Was it Ernie For Forkel? Oh, Eric Forkel? Eric Forkel that he did that against? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I mean, I can see him, but I just don't remember. JJ, now you still got to keep your concentration. Yes. That you, you know you basically won. You don't want to lose this. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to let it down. Do your full effort. Brandon is still matching strikes so far down there, but so is Dante. Yeah. So, really at the fifth frame going into the sixth. Kelly takes care of her spare. JJ gets the 10 to fall out. Gets in the front, <laughs> the double, double, double. <laughs> Spares in the seventh. It's 327 to 311. Oh, she gets a messenger. There you go. Ernie Schlegel. Ernie Schlegel, there we go. Stacy's on it today. She has nailed She's everything. She's Googling it. I know it. <laughs> you can't fool us, Stacy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie Schlegel. I was close. All right. Front nine. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, you may have a second treat for the day. <laughs> All right, Emily is not quitting. No, she's not. That match is close. Yep. There we go. Hey, all right. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you decided to show the party. <laughs> The cheers are for the hockey game. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Dante. Oh. Um, What's all this master action going on? I don't know. I don't know. Emily lets it go. Oh. Ooh, she gets a master. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That one's going. This is coming down to the end. All right. So Scott Sloan is going to come in second. JJ's going to come in first, and Matt is going to shoot Scott Myers. <laughs> Why do I keep calling him Scott Sloan? Scott Myers <laughs> is going to come in second. John Johnson will come in first. For your senior division. Uh, oh, and Brandon just leaves at 8 tenths. So that pretty much seals his fate. And Dante's going to win there. Dante's going to be your open division champion. So the only thing we got left is the women's. And they are battling it out very, Kelly with very another close. Strike there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to have to do that too. <laughs> Stand up and stretch. <sighs> Brandon, unfortunately, does not get the spare. He's going to finish in second. And he's got one minute, 42 and a seven. A 50 pin deficit is very hard to come back. Yeah, especially when your opponent is just whacking and carrying everything he throws. Yes. All right, Kelly Zap. 
She's got to give herself a chance. That one comes in high, leaves a 4-7. Mr. Myers ends up at 183. I'd agree with that. <laughs> All right, you got John Johnson coming up. Looking for the double nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Johnson is your senior division champion. All right, Kelly finishes off with 180, 191. 91 for a total of 403. What's that one I got going there? Emily sitting at three, is that 351? Or 361? That would, if she punches out, that's going to become close. Yes, she is. That'll make up at least 40 plus pins. Yeah, I think she's got 351. 351? 351, 30 puts her at 381. Woo! There you go. Wow, she's getting a little vocal out there. That's. Well, you know what? The last time I seen this reaction from her was when she won her first uh, national title. There you go. She is reliving her youth, recapturing her youth. There you go. JJ finishes once 278. So he is your seen Cutter Open senior champion. Senior division champion. Then we have <laughs> Emily. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. And Emily has 401, and she needs three pins. Uh, you chuck it down the middle? No. Okay. I mean, there's, you're not playing gunners. No. You don't have to worry about it. No, much. you just throw the ball, especially if you only need three. So Emily is going to be your 2024 Women's Division Champion for the Colorado <laughs> Inaugural Tournament. Why is she crying? Why is she crying? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> What happened? It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, incredible. So it looks like the first annual trophies are going to stay in-house. They are. Wow. Dante. <laughs> Dante's not messing around. So we got Dante Lundy, your open champion. Yep. Uh, Emily Eckhoff, your women's champion. Yep. And John Johnson, your senior champion. Awesome. Great bowling by all three. Great deficit for Emily to come back yes. on. So. They all bowled well all weekend. Um, deserving by far. Great, great tournament. Can't wait till next year. January? Yep, January 21st. You bowling? I might have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> but knee surgery? <laughs> Don't say that, because God. <laughs> Uh, that ain't happening. <laughs> All right. Thanks, for no. everybody, for watching. We had a great time. We're not done yet. We're almost done. I know. Almost. Just, almost. I know. almost. We still want to be thankful. Almost. almost. <laughs> Thanks yeah. to Holiday for holding us great events. Uh, oops, my bad. Well, there we go. So Dante shoots 290. <laughs> get, get some of that. Get some of that. Uh, I think the shot might have been a little too easy. He had a field day. 290 and a 300 today. Pretty strong. 
Uh, My horse is the only horse that won. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but I know one of us wanted to pick Emily, but we knew that was a sure thing. Yes. So because we're we were taking the the um, the favorites off the table. Okay. So nice. So they are doing. Let's see if we can get some video here. They are doing presentations, so we'll stick around for that since we're still here. So we got some money for you. Oh, that's all nice. Kelly. And then that check out. It's not a check. Not a check. Oh, it's a check. We have to use it for this purpose. It's an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it is an envelope. I was fortunate to receive it. There you go. She came back from a 50 pin deficit. That was my horse. <laughs> 10%. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no stories. John gets to put his own trophy finally in the trophy. Wow. <laughs> That's a slight shot there. <laughs> Shots fired. Exactly. All right, our open division. Mr. Dante Lundy. Oh, well, all day. We'll see the final 300. <laughs> 290. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, that came out. Uh, Derek, Amber, Cindy, Rick, uh, Russ, Russ, Russ Schaefer, Michelle Schaefer, they brought them all out. Uh, Chuck Freeman, yeah. Christy Freeman, or Christy uh, Thompson. And it isn't possible unless you guys come out and support it the way you did this weekend. That's right. So. Tracy Freeman, she was your help as well, too. Congratulations to all the winners and all the finalists. Have a great rest of your evening. Be safe getting home. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, when is our next telecast? Uh, more than likely next week we'll be doing ABT. ABT, okay. Yep. Right here in this building. And again. I will be in uh, Greeley. <laughs> so Alrighty. enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.